G'day everybody, and welcome to RVs at War, uh, which is going to be a new series in Space Engineers Survival, whoops, uh, oh no, that's fine, uh, with, uh, Black Shadow. Oh, I'm on the other side, hello! <laughs> hello! Uh, you're rather tall. You're quite small. Yeah, I think, um, oh no, we're about the same height. You just got the horns that add a bit more height. This better? <laughs> Actually. I... With that, oh, if you're upright, you are almost still taller than me if you measure by the top of the horns. <laughs> Let's move on from the um, the things that we're wearing, but uh, we should probably mention we are no suit. Indeed. We also, don't have a jetpack. We are somehow don't not have going oxygen. to Inferno. Is interesting. I thought mm. Inferno would hurt. Hmm. Also, for those wondering, Chipsticks did make the skin for me, and I am very grateful for him doing this. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, it's um, it's not what I was expecting when I realized uh, as the game loaded that you had a custom suit. Yep. It was not what I was expecting. It's really cool. Uh, I made some additions to the caravan, if you'd like to see. Oh? So, when we're parked... Um, hmm. I do see one problem now with the door. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, for when we're parked, I did this. Hmm. Gonna pop back outside. Guns? No, no, pop back outside. You'll see. We've got an awning now. Ooh. We have a solar awning. We can catch all the dust with it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for those who weren't here last week, this is Ares at War, or RVs at War for us, uh, since we're starting with a recreational vehicle or a caravan. Um, we are starting on Lazuno, where we have to do a, com a combination of finding stuff as scrap and, well, digging up the dirt until we can find some resources. But, we can also already spot a wreck if you want to head towards it. Am I driving or are you driving? Did we decide this? Uh, I mean, you crashed it last time and so I was driving just fine. You crashed it too. Oops. Alright, fine. Do you want to go to the fighter? Yeah, I'm just waiting for Shadow to decide that she doesn't want to drive because it's the <laughs> latency. <laughs> and being at fault. But we have equal, well, equal latency. <laughs> we have more equal latency than we would normally have. This is true. Yeah. So thank you, Kenny Mart, Kavik, 84, and Chipsticks for the Prime subs. <laughs> and yes, Chipsticks, I'm glad Shadow's suit made it in too. And it didn't crash the server that I am aware of. At least. Yeah, I'm, I'll be interested to see if it crashes the server. That's a cliff! It's fine. Fine, maybe. Are you trying to be Kavak? <laughs> I was driving first person, to be honest. Oh, man. <laughs> so, uh. I was about to say, I'll be interested to find out if we end up with any server crashes um because we've also got crew enabled mm -hmm. and we get crashes with crew enabled in assertive acquisitions so but that is locally hosted right it is yes so there may mm. be some combination of factors but we've got so many mods it's so hard to tell what's causing it and haven't been able to figure anything out Thank you, XC6! Thank you for two years! Thank you very much. And thank you, NCC Harrower! What? Tier 3 for 16 months. Oh, and thank you, XC6, for the thousand bits as well. Madman, thank you very much. Jeremy Clarkson and gang would not be happy about the car. What are you doing <laughs> to me? What are you doing? I don't know, I know we... how I feel whenever you do stuff. Where are we going? I don't know. Just driving around the cliff, trying to find a way down. But, but isn't this, isn't just to our left a way down? It looks fairly smooth. Okay, you, you said it. 
No, no, I don't mean just go without thinking. I mean just approach it gently and see. But it seems like I was correct. Um, <laughs> thank you, Brog, for the wow. prime sub. And thank you, Gate, for the 200 bits as well. Thank you very much. And thank you, Yelrenok. Thank you for two months. Important question. How long until Splitzy has a heart attack? Um... That would be a good prediction, actually. Rude. <laughs> Just for that, I'm putting a prediction up of who's going to die first. Good. That's fun. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Who will die next? Not get back. What? I was about to say, like, are you calling me not Kapak now? Orange, full of chaos. No, you're definitely a Kapak. Hmm. Whoa! You just That's bottomed down the caravan! Also... <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, anyway, we uh, are at the fighter. Yep. Jeez, you need to be more gentle when making turns. <laughs> Alright, let's dig this sucker out. I feel a bit skinless. I'm also being eaten by sand, apparently. Yeah, you will be skinless at times. Well, at least I still got my backbone. Maybe. Hmm. Uh, Let's mode. Careful. No traces of iron fist forces detected. However, significant evidence oh. of remnant activity discovered. Further investigation recommended. End of log. Oops. And I have a GPS. Okay. Cool. Hi, Doom Vox. Ow! Ow! What ow? Rude! You trailed me, you booper! Well, I was trying to get the Doom Voxel! There we go. Me, 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 me. Sorry. Calling me a Doom Voxel. <laughs> oh, that's such a great insult in Space Engineers. <laughs> Instead of calling okay. someone an idiot, call Just them for a you, Doom Voxel. Or actually, it's probably more like calling someone useless but detrimental. Oh. Hey, in, you know you haven't go. actually hurt me, right? I know, but it felt good. Okay. <laughs> so, are we excavating this thing entirely, or plan here? We got here? error messages. We got error. Uh, we did. Oh, no, probably with the faction strength improving. Oh? Maybe. I don't know. One big red message that I can think of right now. Anyway. Um... <laughs> thank you, Pamphy. Thank you for 34 months. And thank you, XC6, for the gift subs as well. Also, Gate, thank you for the 200 bits. Um, alright. Now. I'm presuming we're going to just grind this down to components, right? Since we don't have any G menu restrictions. Uh, uh, not that I'm aware of, so... Sure. I didn't plan on adding any. I'm pretty sure it's not dynamic either, so... Yeah, let's uh, just grind it down. There's probably voxel in the middle of it. Uh, there's nothing... Oh, yeah, probably. Oh. Uh. There is a rifle and some magazines in something on this. So keep an eye out. Because we probably want that magnesium. Mm-hmm. Doom Voxel, a teammate who disassembles the survival kit and doesn't tell anyone. <laughs> 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 so true. Thank you, Omni-5! 
Thank you for 15 months. And thank you, XE6, for another 500 bits. Uh, that is a mad. rocket tube, you see, but it is no... It is not... It has not got any rockets in it, sadly. Oh... Oh, part, part of, oh, part of me. Uh, we probably don't want to worry too much about getting up the steel plate from the armor. Probably just want to get the bits from everything else. Especially as... Oh, actually, I just realized something. Oh? We don't have any cargo. Yeah. Yeah, we've got like small cargoes on the caravan, but we kind of need some proper cargo. Uh, hmm. I mean, we could add an extra trailer. Although, we should probably make it so that the trailer has a roll. Oh, uh, you say no cargo, but there's a cargo container right here. Although, again, I'll do the small lot. cargoes. Only. Oh, sorry, I, I misunderstood then. Um. Like, I could add a little mini-trailer at the back that's just cargo. You trust me with a mini-trailer? I mean... Trust is a... interesting word. Oh, no. That's gonna break the airtightness. I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh, tightness the hitch up. I think we might want to lift the hitch. As well, when we... Yeah. When we, um... Replay... When we add the roll element to it, I think we want to lift it one block. Sure. Alright. Oh no, that's not gonna break the attack. There's a block. Okay. Ah. Uh, yes, we are playing with no suit. Why am I turning? Oh, actually, I don't need that. I appear to be spinning. Uh, Very yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> I'm not gonna say any more than that, but yeah, that'll happen. What the? Um. Why are you drilling the the thing we're trying to recover? I thought we were salvaging this. Yeah. <laughs> Did you explode it with your drill? I would never. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. You have no proof. Sure, we don't. It's not like we were streaming this or anything. No. Okay, take. Uh, I don't think we're likely <laughs> to use this element. I'm just uh, moving on. Um, I don't think we're likely to use this element of this, but I'm going to put... I'm going to convey uh, the hinge. Oh, I didn't put the rotor as a... Oh, there, I'll still do it. I am very smart. I put my water bottle in the way of my mouse, so I've been continuously smacking my mouse into it. Wondering why my mouse is getting stuck. Huh. Uh, also, I found something fun. Oh? What's that? You kind of hold it like this. <laughs> hmm. What are you holding? Oh, you, you picked up the rifle, did you? You found it? Yep, I did. <laughs> is, is your... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can you drop me the rifle and see if I hold it? See if you can see I'm it on my I'm not falling model. for that trick. No, no, no. I I'll don't need a bullet in my head. Just just don't give me any of the ammo. Mm. You don't trust me. No, of course I don't. Last time I played Space Engineers with you, I got bullets in my head. Well, to be fair, bullets were going everywhere. Everyone got them in their heads. That doesn't make it better. You can see it on me. I'm still holding it the way I am. <laughs> oh, your hands pew, are stuck. Pew, 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 pew. Have a gun back. My imaginary air gun. Uh, okay. I go continue. <laughs> uh, no progression means we can just do stuff straight away. Oh, game? Hmm. Huh. 
I just leave those like that, we could probably drive off before I even had wheels. Uh... Interesting. Uh, does anything down there have interior plate? Yeah, how much do you need? Enough to build cargo containers. I have seven on me right now. Well, you want to use the ones you've got and try and weld up one of the medium cargoes at the back of the rover. Oh goodness, what are you doing? I'm building a cargo trailer. Uh-huh. What? I thought that would be... Obvious. You give me a game that lets me build uh. trailers, you give me a start, that starts with oh, rovers, it <laughs> it's gonna happen. I have loved making trailers in Space Engineers for far too long. <laughs> it, nothing is happening, it's fine, I'm not going crazy at all. Hmm, should I make this a large cargo? That can be too big. No such thing. I mean, we probably want to lift the caravan and put some larger wheels on it at some point. So that you yeah, can probably. raise the suspension on the truck as well. <laughs> hmm. Thanks, Theazar! Thank you for five months! Oh. And thank you, Loan, for the Prime Sub. Oh no, that is an even better find. Oh, here I am building in shadows, getting all the cool stuff. Uh, more importantly, I'm getting stuff you're not getting. Rude. Because I don't trust you with this stuff. Rude. I just have flashbacks, okay? Like, I don't happened, know what's like, gonna happen. like three or four times. Mm hmm. And how often did I die? Oh. I'm just gonna blame latency. Your ping was what, six, 300? I need to. I need to ask you something. Did you do anything to this character's eyes? Mental perception, maybe? I keep seeing things and then not seeing things, and then they're back, and I'm scared. Um, does this planet not have stone? Is it just dirt all the way down? Why are you invisible? <laughs> Oh. Huh. Oh. Uh. Oh, jeez, Shadow. What? <laughs> I saw what you put on the survival kit. to reinfigurate yourself. Mm. <laughs> I think this is dirt all the way down. Hmm. I appear to be having some issues on my side. Oh. A little bit of frame drops? Hang on. Um I think it might be my thing stepping out. Let me go some graphics. Uh, Ares does indeed have a proper ore map, Inventory full. Uh, which we can look at. But we have to figure out where we are on that map. So at the moment, it's not super useful because we have no like there's no big landmarks that we could use to figure that out. Let's see if that helps. Uh, or if that crashes the game. Huh. Thank you, Hehu Types, for the prime sub. And thank you, Traveling Ham. Whoa. <laughs> for the sub. I'm glad that's I'm not showing on stream right now. <laughs> Wandering hams. Okay. Wait for it to load in. Oh yeah, the lights do work even with no suit. Good. 
it's gonna know we'll just pretend it's more, like right? any of the there survival games that give you a torch or a flashlight to begin with. Inventory full. Yeah. yeah. Also, there um, there's a gun and some ammo in the cargo container for you. Oh. What inspired this change of heart? Oh right, um, I know what inspired it. It's because you realize if we come across any enemies, you're going to be sent in to fight them because I don't have a gun. Now that you give me a gun, you can send me in first. Yeah, totally. Oh. I'm putting, I'm putting stone in the survival kit so that we can get some um, interior plate. So, what's the plan? Make a mobile base or make a small little starter base so we can make a bigger mobile base? Um... I thought what we should do, like, obviously we wanted to get to that fighter Ow. first because it would give us some story and stuff about what's going on uh, and some useful locations, but I thought we might want to um, see if we can find any ore deposits. Like, scout for uh. an ore deposit. Once we find an ore deposit of any kind, that's where we set up a base. And, um... Is that one over there? I think so. <laughs> you could be right. <laughs> well, that's step one complete. Hmm. Oh, uh, is is that? Can we see what that is? It appears to be Foxel. Wow. Uh, um, yeah, that's not all. I think that's sand. Yeah, that's that's not an ore deposit. That's just splotchy sand. Hmm. The ore deposit discolors the the actual surface material, rather than being a separate material, and that's a separate material. It's an ore mirage, <laughs> yeah, manatee. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Uh, the unknown signal of yours. <gasps> Can I get to it first? I might Don't have a head start. Dare. <laughs> Can I get to it before Shadow kills me? <laughs> That's a bigger <laughs> question. <laughs> you know what? That's a long way away. I'm letting you go for it. Good. But I feel like I'm about to get shot. Nope. Mm. That worries me more than knowing I'm going to get shot. <laughs> Now I have sand to go with my sand! Yes! Sand! Hmm. I'm honestly surprised you didn't take the caravan over. Wait. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Go on, hop on. Oh. I was on on my screen. Okay. <laughs> oh, surprised you didn't hop in the caravan. No, 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 no. Uh, should we run through the mod list that we're playing with? Sure, go ahead. Have we got anything other than Ares at War that's really game-changing, though. Mostly just quality of life stuff. Suitless. <laughs> well, yeah, suitless. Yeah, that changes things dramatically. Ow. What? You know what? You can drive. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, help. <laughs> I. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Is your jetpack on? Jet... Apparently, but I cannot... Okay, I can turn it off, but I cannot turn it on again. That is most interesting. Oh, oh, rainbow boots. Oh. Oh. Why oh, you wanted rainbow boots? I can send them to you. No, I just realized a bigger problem. You're stuck here with me. Huh. Yeah. Um, the bigger problem is we have no easy or nice way to access the survival kit. <laughs> and it's inventory to Whoa. get components out. Then... I drilled a hole. 
I would like to remind you that you were the one who redesigned this thing. Yeah. I always design my starter vehicles with broken stuff in them. Right. Most of the time it's intentional. Sometimes not so much. It has become second nature for you. Yeah. Man. Make those first, please. Thank you. Well, like when I made the the spawn rover for the scrapyard stuff, that was intentionally bad. You mean intentionally horrible? Horrible, horror bad, whatever you want to say. Horrible. Do. Uh, a conveyor converter won't help us here because that will still give us small ports which we still won't be able to access because the conveyor converter doesn't have uh, access points. Full strength. It'd have to be a connector, yeah. We have a tail! Huh, cool. Also, we might want to raise strength on that I... hinge. Oh, the hinge is fine, it. I think. But the yeah, uh, you're probably right. We probably do want to put it up to your Raise it up a bit more. Although it only goes up maybe to raise it up a bit more. Hmm. So. Uh, but yeah, I've also raised the suspension strength on the caravan so that it's got a little more ground clearance. Though having two by two wheels is not exactly great. Twenty <laughs> percent. All right, driver. Uh, let's go find us an ore deposit. Have you got all the good stuff out of that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, a little bit scared. <laughs> We're wagging. <laughs> I, I don't feel safe. Hang on, hang on, Shadow. Stop for a sec. I think I might know what's wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought so. The hinges in the hitch are up. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you don't see the problem yet. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Well, if this is a challenge you impose upon me, no, I'll happily no, take it. No. Let's go. <laughs> No, 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 That is a bad idea. Um. And doing anything else is a good idea. What are you doing to me? It's fine. That better? No, that's no. taking. That's taking weight off my the front. My butt is on the ground. Your butt is not on the ground. Well, well, almost. There we go. That should be better. Yeah, let's go before this crazy <laughs> man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, could you repeat that? <laughs> Thank you, Oscaris. <laughs> Thank you for the two hundred bits. Two hundred fifty bits. If I can read. Uh, hopefully a more pleasant day in Sweden than uh, it is right here with me with it heavily raining. Um, okay. I was about to say, like, are you referring to game, or? No, as much as as much as you are mayhem incarnate, uh, I often enjoy that. Hmm. I'm gonna suggest something, Shadow. We have no suits. Um, so altitude might not be our friend. Yep. Also, going up this cliff might not have been the best idea. Yeah, you might want to gently revert. With a caravan. Yep. With 200 ping. It'll be fine.
Good job. Well done. That was a, uh, not easy. All right. Uh, have you got the... I should probably bring up the Areas of War map. See if we oh, can right. potentially recognize where we are. Uh, where's the link for the things? Oh, I really don't like the cargo container on our back. Making me feel like... At least we should have a little skid wheel below it. Well, yeah, we'll get there. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those unsettled noises were great. Um, okay. So oh, this if is... you saw what was happening, you too oh, would did. make those noises. I did see what was happening uh, at mm. a great distance, but I did see it. So we're somewhere mm. on this planet. Um, Whoa, that's so specific. Well, do you have any landmarks that would tell you where we are on this place? I, don't. I see a bit of rock. I yeah. see some more rock. There's um, some more rock to our right. Just gonna point Open out. Open to our left. The the terrain colored stuff that we've got on that we can see. Yeah, that's not on this map. Okay. We're in one of the orange splotches. That's all I can tell you. And I'm guessing by the angle of the sun, we're somewhere about kind of. Halfway between the equator and the pole. Which equator? Uh, which pole? Well, I was about to say which equator and which pole. Which pole and the equator? I'm uncertain. Um, but we probably want to try and find one of these cobalt deposits. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. Saw that. All right. Let's add some wheels. Thank you! <laughs> hey, uh, well, you, you convinced me. And I was driving very slowly as well, so... Well, that's that's how you convinced me. If you were driving like a capac, um, then you wouldn't have convinced me. Uh-huh. Alright. Hang on. Okay, now we do have to have mold. Almost thought we uh, forgot the paint mod. Would have been oh, catastrophic. No. We're, we're playing multiplayer, we gotta have paint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I was like, mm, maybe we should double check. Eh. Eh. Okay, <laughs> let's drop that down a bit. I feel like I don't want to stand underneath that when you do. I feel like I'm disappointed that I forgot and I actually gave you warning then. Hmm. I'd rather my horn stay on top of my head, thank you very much. Okay. Do we want to weld anything up or just keep it like this for now? Uh, we probably want to weld it up because these don't have friction. All right, let's set up some reasonable limits here and also get my chat back because I've got Harry's at War covering it. There we go, that's better. Reasonable Thank limits. Thank you, Lenboy. Thank you for the 100 bits. Hmm. Um, lower limit. I think roll, we probably don't want more than about 10 degrees. Whoa! <laughs> oh, shit! All oh, right. It's been a while since I played on a server. I forgot something you're supposed to do. Uh, give a heart attack to the person playing with you because that is something you did manage to do. Yeah. Um. Uh. So, <laughs> forgot something you do with rotors on servers. Rotor lock them before you change settings. Oh. Well. Anyway, we have some parts. <laughs> Should have done a heart attack, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe it stuck the landing. 
Like, check it out. There's I... barely any damage to this. It all... There's it's... barely any damage. Well, yeah. The... Most of this damage was you. <laughs> what? How dare you? I mean, the back end damage is dare... me. The front end damage is you. <sighs> it's nothing compared to the... Oh, Wait, is there more damage on the other boss? side that I haven't seen? No, the other side looks fine. Right. So, Shadow, you did remember to wear your brown pants today, right? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, hmm. So, about that... <laughs> <laughs> we need to find a restroom? Perhaps. Oh, so, um... Oh, wait, the trader survived. Oh. Kinda. <laughs> okay, so we might need to hang around here for a little bit. Uh huh. Oh, boy. Well, you know. Hmm. I've done worse. I hope this is the worst you'll do. Uh, me too. So we're gonna need to drill some dirt. <laughs> so that we can make <sighs> components now. Because <laughs> we just lost most of them. Oops. Well, at least it was you doing that, because now I can give you sass for it. Oh, it was guaranteed to be me. I always mess with rotors too much. Uh-huh. Well, that's a good uh, thing nah, I was giving some spare parts. I, I want to deal with my own lack of uh, sense of direction and see if Shadow can compensate for it. I'm not uh, going to try. Being told I enjoy where we your are. chaos. Because I could easily just use spectator cam if I wanted to find out for sure where we are. Also, uh, Spitz, not to worry you, but we should be worried. Why? We're running low on power. We are. Our eye supplies are not lasting for a long time. Oh. Uh. No, we've still got, like, over 2,000 ice. Yeah, and we started with, like, 4k? Are fiddlings allowed in chat? Yes, they are. Um, yes, they are. Yes, deploy the awning, indeed. We do have a solar panel. Just, you know, pointing that out. I don't think a solar panel will help us drive a lot. Uh, possibly not. Possibly not. Uh, Split, before you walk that up, could you maybe double check your placement? <laughs> you saw nothing. I'm pretty sure I did. No lies. Uh-huh. It's gonna be one of those playthroughs, huh? You mean all of them? Yeah. Where I do dumb things and have to fix my own problems. Okay. So. Hinge lock. On. Off. Uh, upper limit. Lower limit, I mean. Minus 20. Upper limit. 20. Rotor. Rotor lock on. Upper limit. Uh, 10. Rotor lock off. Lock block off. Cool. Then, lastly, hinge lock on. I 
I will be back in about two minutes. Gotta do a quick run. You got another unknown signal? No. You do. Is that fighter yeah, we were can. at still broadcasting, or is that a new fighter? That one is still broadcasting. Uh, we probably should have dealt with that. That would have been smart. Okay, the hinge... But we don't do smart things here, like you very clearly showed. What? Well, the... the but, but, I was just forgetful. Am I wrong? <laughs> I was just a bit forgetful. It's been a while since i A bit forgetful I've... that caused our entire vehicle to flip in the air. Yeah, but, you know... Mm. Not like... I mean, as soon as it happened, I knew what had happened. Mm hmm Yeah, okay, that's fair. <laughs> Wait a second. You did realize your mistake. You missed an opportunity. I did? You didn't call me a doom voxel when I did that. I'd rather call you a booper. Although the thing with boopers is that you cannot say it angry like bubbles. Yeah. Chuck Finley, um, it was during Wrong Way Down that um, Wasted and I realized what was wrong. Uh, what, that we had to lock rotors to um, to make things somewhat safe. Because on that one, we realized that when I was local hosting it, um, I could change settings and Wasted couldn't. All right, what do I need to make all of this? Nothing in the build planner. There we go. Move that to the end. Are we playing with any restrictions besides no suit? Uh, no. Oh, uh, no. We're allowed to do anything we want here. Although we do have the idea to make a mobile base, right? Yeah, we were planning on mobile base and... Um, that was mainly so that we could get off Lazuno and make our way to Agaris. Yep. Wasn't it? Hmm. Pretty sure that was what we talked about. Yeah. And then we fight Omagaris. Well, yeah, and potentially come back here and fight too. But so that we can move <laughs> between the two. Go battle! Charge! A bit 5 by 5s on here if I do that. Also, thank you for the 10 biddies. Rin. That is no. Keep on run, 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 run. You so should have waited until we could just move the truck. Why wait? I, at the rate we're going, you're probably going to flip it again. Heard. You're driving, you're going to flip it again. Yeah, but at least I'll flip it in style. Yeah, I flipped it in style. good reason. There was explosions. There style. were explosions. There was an yeah, okay, unexpectedly fair. effective and safe landing. <laughs> but also, why is the truck? Um... Hmm? Yeah, it, it's dancing. Also, thank you for the subs, Sturm. Uh... Oh, yeah, Sturm. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna need to put bigger wheels on the middle trailer eventually. Probably. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> so, the reason I did this was, oh, I don't know why I did this. Because you're a, um... Lunatic? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Alright, let's just focus on what we can get done here, which is get this built up, get these wheels built. 
Then we can prop up the caravan and add big wheels to it. Thank you, Shadow Wolf. Thank you for 25 months. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized something. What's um, that? I'll send it to you via Discord. Right. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. we do that toward the end? Probably. Yeah. We should probably set a reminder, though. Yeah, this this contraption is definitely going to be cursed. All of the it cursed. It already is. At this rate, one may not need, need wheels on the caravan. True. However... That was part of the problem. There we go, that looks better. Hmm. Looks better? <laughs> what? You weren't looking at what I was looking at. Also, do we oh, have enough? Oh yeah, it is more balanced now. That's true. Ah, oh, yes. Somehow we ended up with enough small steel tubes. You managed to collect them all. Good. So what do we do next? Add a advanced rotor to the top of that cargo container so we can build an assembler. Um, <laughs> maybe. Wait, oh, hang on, hang on. Can you stand still for a moment? What? You looking at my wrist pad? Yeah. I thought it said, like, weather. Oh. <laughs> like, it's very sunny out in this land. Lizuno. And That's sunny. Welcome to sunny Lizuno. Where every day is just sand, sand, sand. It's coarse and rough and gets everywhere. Alright, we should both quickly grab some stone to be refined as we get out of here. Yeah, good idea. Work smarter, not harder. Feel the stones that you cannot pick up. Yep. <laughs> well, that's why I was mining slightly higher than the bottom so that they'd all just fall down there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sure. And once there was a file, I'd just go pick them up. You're saving me the effort of picking them up. That's probably enough. Always more. Oh. The uh the survival kit is full, so. <laughs> I have an idea. And I think it might be a good one. Instead of um, trying to mess with the caravan too much, what we should probably do is move the caravan to be the third thing in the chain. Although I guess the thing in the middle is probably the most protected, so that's probably where we want our survival kit. Mm. But if we were to move our survival kit from the caravan to the cargo trailer, so that it can work off the cargoes that it's attached to, uh, we could then move the caravan to the rear. Yeah, or we turn this entire thing into a walking mech. Uh, and that, people, is how things end up getting done offline. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is actually very true. Does it handle any better? Uh, I it's too early to say. Still feels very dangerous. I just dropped the speed limit on your front wheels a bit. Ah, thank you.
Yeah, as much as mechs and the idea of them can be kind of fun, they do require a huge amount of troubleshooting and stuff like that to get the timings right and all that sort of thing. Which... is probably not what I want to spend my time doing on stream. Uh, that's yeah, probably not um... the right way to go, Shadow. Are you sure? No, but it doesn't look like it's got a friendly path up ahead. But my unknown signal is over there. Yeah, but your unknown it's signal's my new buddy. up high. You really are a catback, aren't you? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. But to be fair, we do need the parts, so... Also, look at the scenery! Oh dear. Well, speaking of scenery... Um, can I tell from the topographic layer where we might be? We're in some sort of, some sort of chasm. Mm-hmm. I mean... Ugh. I don't know whether it's a tiny little thing like that gap just there or whether it's something bigger. I, I don't know the scale. I should have suggested a Landini type build. Ah. I mean, he's kind of getting there. Massive overladen trailers with a tiny little truck at the front. Uh, is this a yeah, scrap salvage true. server? <laughs> sort of. No. No, it is not. <laughs> I mean, we are it currently elements, looking for stuff, but, but uh, yeah. Also, see, it's not too bad here. Yeah, I'm... I'm happily proven wrong. <laughs> also, there's I ore also off to the right just up ahead. Once we find an ore, then we can possibly use that to help us find where we are on the map. Yeah, those little grey splotches on the right, that's an ore marker. I'm gonna wait also, until you stop before I get out. Look to the left. Yeah, so left? What's on the left? A beautiful view, perhaps, if oh, you yeah. look north northwest. Yeah, yeah. So we have silicon. All right. Silicon. Uh, Where... not the greatest starting orb. Yeah. Also, not on the map. <laughs> the map does not include any um, ores that are found in dirt. Could you maybe send me the link to the map? Sure. Hello, Zilnar. And if anyone wants to look at it, there you go, in chat. Oh, it's actually on GitHub. So, do we want to keep driving and see if we find an ore that actually helps us? Uh, I don't think it's a good idea for me to drive right now, since I am looking at a map. Well, alright, I'll drive then. Probably not a good idea for me and to drive while you're looking at And this is immediately how we crash. Uh, the silicon. Oh! Ah, uh, no we can't. Ah, uh, hmm. I know what we need to do. We can speed this process up a little bit. A little bit. Oops. What did you do? Squish myself? <laughs> I, I didn't even do anything! 
I, I kind of saw it coming, but I was like, nah, it'll be fine. I'll get this. I won't mess this up. I'm trapped with an idiot. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, whoops. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Okay, there we anyway. go. <laughs> so, Shadow, if we do what we were talking about and we actually build the advanced rotor on top and then build the assembler, we can then build an ore detector so we don't even get out of the vehicle to check. Plus, we can build it on large grids so we can scan from even further away. I don't think having a ore detector is going to be a good idea because the patches are so few and far between anyway and very evident when there is an ore patch. However... Some of them are deeper than we can detect with our drill. Yeah, but the ore patches will still be very visible, and I don't think we have the power to supply the ore detector. Do you really think we're that poor on power? Nah. Yes. Oh, fine. Fine, let's just drive then. <laughs> Thanks for your touch for the turn of bits. Wait, did I get my stuff back? I did get my stuff. Why is my body there? No, I didn't get my stuff. Do I have any stuff? I have some stuff. <laughs> You special person, you. <laughs> I I should know better. Um, How many hours? How many hours do you have? Five thousand three hundred, something like that. Uh huh. Thank you, Fluorescent Ninja, for the eight months, and thank you, Matcha. Thank you for forty-six months. Being so close to four years. Ooh. Yeah, this not really isn't helpful, is it? Um, we're not close to volcanoes. Yeah, we need to find a desert. We need to find an edge of a biome type, and then we can start figuring it out from there, I think. Kind of like how you start yeah. a puzzle from the edge pieces. Or we find the bits of ice water that are on the map. I think. Yeah, uh, so... What are you doing? What? I'm going down. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, yes, true. We could just go north or south until we hit a pole. That's a fair point, Chad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could do. We are currently going west, so we're off to a great start already. Well, someone put us in a chasm that gave us limited options in terms of directions we could go. <laughs> uh, but yes, once we find a biome edge, because we've got a compass, we should be able to figure out where we are a lot more easily. I honestly just need more information than topography. Yeah. And the map is a little bit hard to see, like, mountains. Yeah. Whereas on Agoris, for example, it's very clear to see the island masses, whereas this is all just sand. Hmm. So there's no real deviation between a very high land mass and a low, well, a slightly raised land mass. Let's say it like that. Jiggling around of the camera when I'm in far zoomed out. I need far zoomed out so I can spot whether there's any ore mark. Because yeah, if we if we oh, find a cobalt or a magnesium or something like that, then we'll be pretty set. I did mark the silicon, by the way. Okay, cool. I didn't bother. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's always a good thing to have. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. We probably don't want to drive. be driving too far before we stop 
and make this assembler and make some make a large grid battery or a lot a few extra batteries just for the power. I yeah, think we're probably need to not do a power for bad a stone. idea. Hello, Amity. How you doing? This might get bumpy. Um. Um. Just full speed. Speed. Yeah, ideally we would get out of the shadow, but um, the shadow would have had to get out and not drive us into a chasm for us to not be in the shadow. Oh, maybe I just wanted to feel comfortable in this horrible situation we have found ourselves in. Maybe, maybe. We escaped from the jungle or well, the Amazon and we <laughs> went to the exact opposite. Shadow should be in this trailer with a drill out. <laughs> uh... I don't okay. think that's strictly necessary. Um, Did you break? As you pointed out, Shadow, we uh, can see the ore markers. <laughs> Thanks, Nelly and Zero. <laughs> Thank you for the prime sub. Uh, so while driving, we've got like 20 oh. minutes of power left. Oh. Oh, that's sinister. What's sinister? Well, left. All oh, right, the 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 nebula. The giant cobweb in the sky. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but also the planet. What planet is that? Because we might be able to orient ourselves if we look at the planets around us as well. Do we have oh, my brain information of how they are triangulated to us? Also, we're uh, about to run kinda? out of engine. We should yeah. stop. Told you uh, we were low. Yeah, I didn't disagree with you, but I, well, I did disagree with you, but I didn't think it was that bad. Okay, so we are oh, running I just. We are running just on the basic battery power remaining, so we need to. Um. We need to get this assembler up quickly and get a battery built. Yep. Oh, bit. sorry, I'm turning. Oh, oh. Do something. Mumble, mumble? Mumble, mumble. Uh, there's no point having another solar panel. We're in shadow. Like, we don't have any solar. We unfortunately have moved away from our power source. I was trying to go west because I figured if we caught up to it, then that'd work. How did we get a reactor component? The Where ship had a reactor. On ship? Huh. I'm honestly surprised that it survived the incident. Okay, um, so we don't want to build this rotor. Okay. We just want to build the assembler onto it, which means we're going to need, like, some way of getting up there. Say no more. Uh, can you place the assembler? If I had a steel plate, I could, yes. Good job. Hey, I didn't think that far ahead, okay? Did you run up from the front? Nope, but that would be a viable option. I jumped on the wheel, then I jumped onto the large cargo, I then jumped up here. Or you See? can do it the easy way, that's no fun. Uh, do I? Uh, no, I do not have. Uh, da, da, da. Basics. I'll just pick up. Oh. I thought I picked up a steel plate, and I didn't either. <laughs> oh, so, um, that doesn't bode well for what's to come. Yep. Agreed.
Uh, yeah, wind turbine's not going to be... Oh, maybe a wind turbine... Maybe building the basic assembler with a wind turbine might be a better idea initially. It actually might be a better idea. Oh, and then lock to the ground or something. Yeah, just build it in the ground. Just basically build the basic assembler in the ground rather than attached. Oh, make a temporary base. Yeah. I mean, something we can do is have a little tell that we can flop onto the ground and lock to the ground. Yes, but I'm just thinking about the fact that we are almost out of power and we need yeah, to okay. deal with that first. So, assembler, yes or no? Uh, let's That's build enough. the one in the okay. ground and slap a turbine on it. Although we're going to yep. need two, probably, unless we get a storm come through. Uh, get power. Yeah, I'll get... Uh, do we want to build a wind turbine high up or low with our current resources? Uh, let's not build any wind turbines. Let's see if we've got the components for the basic assembler first. <laughs> what do you want, man? <laughs> so, if... Why have we got steel tubes on this? What I'm thinking is, if we try and build the assembler first... Then we find out whether we can actually whether we've actually got enough power to build the components for the assembler. If we run out of power before it's even built, then there's no point having built all of the stuff for wind turbines and the like, because we'll have already run out of power. And we won't be able to get the assembler up anyway. Does that make sense? Mm. My brain no work you do. We'll just get wind turbine. No, do not get wind turbine. But get assembled. if we're going to run out of power, then... Yes, how? but how does that wind turbine help us get power on the rover? Without well, also building a whole lot of yeah, extra components okay. that we need the assembler for. Does that make sense? Yeah, sure. Good point. We should turn off all the lights. And all the wheels. Ah, uh, the wheels shouldn't be drawing power. Are you sure? Yeah, they're not in use. It, the reason you turn off wheels is when you're using the subgrid wheel control script. They're still using two kilowatts. Really? Mm -hmm. Jerks. Bring them off. It's been way too long since I thought about that. Uh, we need just steel plate and computers. Cancel those. I'll continue mining. How many steel plates do we actually need? 43. Oh, uh, South Heaven, I tend to be very jumpy when it comes to space engineers. I rarely use my jetpack. I'd rather just jump everywhere. <laughs> If we if we run out of power, um, we just have to wait till it's daylight, which we will definitely use creative mode tools to accelerate so that we're not just standing around for two hours waiting. Peter, uh, you're the one who added the sleep through the night mod. Yeah, that's cheating. because it actually requires us to get beds and stuff or cryopods, so we can actually earn that. Mm -hmm. I've been using creative mode tools. Creative use of game mechanics. <laughs> creative use of admin tools, more like. Yeah. Really don't know anything useful there. Kershaban, it's fine. You can move time. It doesn't do anything too bad. It just accelerates things. The sleep mod does the same thing. Apparently. Although, like, it, all it does is it'll just mean that we'll get more triggers for things to have happen. Um, it shouldn't break anything in particular. And if it does, me using admin tools to make a start during daylight is going to have broken it anyway. 
Yeah, it'll be fine. Like, if it truly gets overwhelming, we'll fix it. But I don't think it's gonna be very game breaking. Oh, Kushban's actually being specific about the sleep mod, though. The sleep mod breaking it. Rather than admin tools. But that's a garrison war. No. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Never mind, ignore me. <laughs> I'm used to seeing AAW as a garrison war, but it also applies to Ares at war. Yeah, and I presume since Captain Arthur did both that it's the, the same issues persist between the two because they're MES issues. Probably. But oh, out of curiosity, what are those issues? Um, so this, the way that timers work in MES is actually based off the game time, which is altered every time you mess with the daylight the time of day slider. Mm-hmm. Um, so I presume that the sleep mod messes with that the same way. Um, so it's kind of going to run into the same problems whether we use admin tools or not. Uh, but if it's going to cause problems with it, I think mostly the problem that it should cause is that we would get extra spawns or accelerate the... Um, nasty men coming our way if we're in a situation where nasty men come our way oh that should be fine uh, but if we properly break things the, the joy of having one mobile grid is we can just start a fresh save and just paste it in in the new save we should be fine yeah yeah so I don't like cheesing the game, but I also don't like sitting still for three hours on stream. That yeah, the like entertainment for me always comes first, and it's why it's, you know like if you want to play with mods like build and repair, then that's fine. That's your joy. That's not mine. Um, you mentioned Bob, but my like. When I'm streaming something, it's like, I'm not just going to sit around for three hours waiting for something just for some empty thought of, I think this would be a better, I, 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 like, just because I want to not cheat. I'm like, that's just silly. That's very silly. Thanks, you Talison. Thank you for 18 months. And thank you, Orwob, for the Prime Sub. Series of war alter the cost of things. Let's have a look. Uh, steel plate. Yes. It is three times more expensive. Oh my goodness, yes it is. Oh, that's amazing. I actually like that change. I mean, it makes the early game more painful, but... Still. Yeah. I, I think it's to encourage interaction with the factions rather than building stuff from scratch. And also it would make it better to have outposts at certain mining locations as well. Oh, I see reasons that. to build a lot of mining infrastructure. Potentially, yeah. Thank you, Dragnod. Thank you for your 44 months of tier 3 and all of the thousands of gift subs too. Madman. The shenanigans we are up to is desperately trying to see if we can get the components together to build an assembler before we run out of battery power. Yep. Our batteries are still above 50% though, so we should be okay. And I'm not helping Shadow drill because she's already drilling faster than the survival kit can process and we're just accumulating stone at this point. Is that a hint that I should stop? No. I was just <laughs> explaining to chat why I wasn't being helpful. <laughs> and I was you just are. standing around. You are doing the welding. Waiting for this thing to build. Uh, I feel more confident that we can attach this to our grid. What do you think? Wacky connection arm? Because I'm all for it. Oh no, I was just going to stick it on top of the rotor like a fan. You know what? You take care of that, I'll do the mining. Okay. Because I don't know what you're trying to do anymore. You're jumping from one thing to the other. 
I was waiting to determine if we had enough power for what we were hoping to do originally. That's all. Okay. I didn't want to make any rush, any rash decisions to like do a thing and then realize that we actually didn't have the power to even construct it in the first place. Uh, I don't believe Capac's going to join us in this. No. Would be fun, but not his time zone. <laughs> yes, it is not Capac's time zone. Indeed. Oh. I really just need to bring this. Wait, can I weld from jumping? No, I'll get the... Do you need a head to stand on? <laughs> no, I just need to be smart and jump from the correct side of the rover. <laughs> if I jump from the uphill side, it's all a lot easier. That is some uh, interesting thing you're doing with your boots right there. Was I jiggling? No, just folding. Oh boy. Okay. I'm stealing some of the plate from the caravan to get this done. Wow. Well, with it costing 21 iron per plate, it's just going to take too long. I need to get all the good bits out. I mean, that is basically Space Engineers in a nutshell. Do the it grind is. until you get into the mid-game and then suddenly, wait, why am I in the late game? <laughs> yeah, that is certainly a way to put it. Although that is also the fun of it, like, you do have a lot of freedom to build once you progress through the early game. Yeah. Also, I just realized I've been digging in a spiral. And that is entirely subconsciously as well. 19. How many more do I need? Oh, I should grab what's being made. Uh, wind turbine needs to be on a static grid. So it needs to be on a grid that's either in the ground or locked to the ground via a landing gear. So yeah, we, so we once, can make a little butt that we can stick on the ground. Yeah, but only once we've got this assembler built do I think that's a sensible thing to do. Also, I'm not even sure it's a sensible thing to do at that point. No, definitely not. But what other options do we have at this point? <laughs> and also, you're going to be driving for a while, so... Why am I going to be driving for a while? Because you have the better ping. Oh. <laughs> I was quite happy when you decided to drive even though you've got the higher ping. Ah, uh, to Higher be fair, is better. Thing isn't really... Yeah. Bigger number is better. Surely. His name is... He's yelling at me. Oops. What the... Oh. Oh. Our plates fell through the world. Or got deleted. Not sure which. Um, probably fell through the world. Uh, eventually we need to weld up that welder, uh, that rotor, but we don't need it initially. Because we can manually transfer things across. Why are you being so difficult? I'm being difficult? What do you mean? You can just stand back here. And no. weld it up. Well, I wasn't being difficult. Why was I doing things the difficult way? I'm because in. you are being difficult. That's why. We have an assemble. Uh, there we go. Assembler? Assembler. Assembler. And hello, okay. Shafi. Now, production. Stop all that. Welcome to shenanigans. Inventory. Grab all of the nickel, silicon, and iron. Transfer 
to the assembler. Assembler! How did you place it? Oh, I see. Uh, now. Could we grind down the defense road apart a little bit so we can more easily access the conveyor pipe? Um, I'm gonna say no, because I'm worried about our latency and um, accidentally grinding it off. Oh, you daring, <laughs> daring person. Wow. Uh, more brave than I. Sometimes, yeah. Can make 10. We'll see if we can make 17 of these. We need 170 iron. We're going to need those steel plates. I'm not going to break them down. But what we don't need right now are these metal grids. What? What do you mean? You always need metal grids. Not right now. Um, then maybe we should put it in a cockpit if you plan on throwing it out? No, no, no. I am disassembling it to get its resources. Oh, okay, fair enough. Because they contain iron, nickel, and cobalt. Do we get most of it back? We get all of it back. It's 100%. Okay, good. It's perfect. It's perfect translation back and forth. Even Unless, with these resource thingies? Um, yeah, it shouldn't change. Also, we can make civilian products. Hey, Zim Zim. Uh, yeah, there's... I think that's mm -hmm. part of, like, trading and stuff, maybe? Maybe also for the defense components. Oh, maybe. Yeah, if we break this down, mm. we'll hopefully have enough that we can build a la a small grid large battery. Which is looking promising, because we've got enough to make the power cells. Um, with a small grid large battery, we should have enough power to drive through the night. Hopefully. It's my dream, anyway. Let's see if it's reality. Dare dream. Where shall I put this battery? Oh. Yeah, okay, I should stop digging in spiral. That is not pleasant to go up and down. <laughs> Alright, I think I'll put the battery on the side here, because then if we still need resources later, like if we're, if we're still tight when we need to move it, we can easily cut it out. And I wanted to put a connector on the rear of the cargo thing so that we have easy access. Oh, one of the mods that we do have in this should not surprise anybody, and it's the no lightning damage mod. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's a standard mod that you should have in every Space Engineers game because it should have been a game mechanic. Yeah, it should just be an option. Everyone I really want that assembler to spin. Uh, they just don't fit on the hitch. The way we're, I've set it up. I possibly could have mm. put it on top of the uh, cargo, I guess. But too late now. We've already put the power cells in it. There we go. We have a battery. That'll keep us going for a little bit. Should we make a second one and put it on the other side in the same position? Slightly covering the window. Oh, it won't. Sure. Uh, it'll sort of fit, but it'll be at the wrong height. Okay, now, if we're gonna do symmetry, we need to have equal symmetry. Oh. Okay. Wrong symmetry. Well, uh, shall we drive then? Yeah, go ahead. Should we wait till the storm's over then? Nah. <laughs> that would be smart. That's not like us. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we do have build vision and sneaky sounds as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not driving in this. Coward. Coward. Sure. Yeah, 
I actually can't see anything. Of use whatsoever. So, <laughs> Shadow. Yes. Should we uh, consider some sort of baby's first drill rig? Already? Yeah. Well, I mean, we're stuck here do in the storm. Like on the, do you mean like on the butt of this, or...? Maybe. Um, so we can just mine as we drive? <laughs> that's probably... That is actually probably a better place to put it. Uh, let me... Leave. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Uh, you owing? Uh, pain. Oh. Uh, is the storm worse? I mean, I'm not taking a lot of damage, but my feelings are hurt. It's safe in here, though. Oh. It's even safer when you pressurize it. Yeah, but the ice. Did you oh, say ice? No, this is using atmosphere. It's, it's just two All vents right. back it to back. To... It's still power usage. Oh yeah, we should probably turn off those vents. I completely forgot we had them. They actually use a fair bit of power. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. Uh, yeah. Oh. No, they're only using one kilowatt. Um, Kentucky, the reason why we're not huh. using Starkey sounds is because it's fun for the first five minutes. And then it's annoying. Yeah. Alright, you know what? I'm working in the storm. I'll just keep coming back uh, in and healing myself. Yeah, um, like, we're not taking that much damage in the storm I've anyway. I've already died in one embarrassing way. What's another? True. Uh, mm. Not saying it's a good attitude to have, but... True. <laughs> Uh, there is no helmet. Close what helmet? I mean, the thing is, if we close our quote-unquote helmets, we start suffocating because we cannot breathe anymore. <laughs> yeah, it sort of, there sort of is a helmet, but it, um... Yeah, it, it kills us. Basically, we opened our faces. That's what we're doing. <laughs> it's like it's like closing your mouth and holding your nose while you're trying to breathe. It doesn't work. And you can trust Blitzy because he's a medical professional. Oh. Well. Yeah. I'm still registered. And sometimes we just need to visit our good friend. That fits that LCD way too well. <laughs> like, funny story. Can we get so past I was each introduced. Other in this space? Mm, uh, no. All right, go on. But funny story. Like I used to, well, used to. Like back in the day when I was teaching my friends, they never knew where to recharge. So eventually, I was like, you know what? Let's just change the image so I can refer them to a funny image. And the first thing that came to mind was like, let's do the mankini. And ever after, they always managed to find the medkit. <laughs> oh, right. medkit is survival kit. <laughs> so, uh, you have become a sort of beacon for people to heal themselves. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kaneda. Thank you for 14 months. Ah, my voice. Where did my voice go? Who stole my voice? Jado stole my voice. Why did you steal my voice? Yes. 
I would do a horrible Australian accent, but I think it's best that I don't. I've never heard your horrible Australian accent. That's because I can't. <laughs> oh, oh, I wow. want to hear it now. No. Yes. I'm horrible at accents. That's why I speak both British English and American English at the same time. <laughs> Brilliant. Yep. I'll pay that. And that's the choice of not being a native speaker. Well, I mean, Capac speaks Capac English and Australian English at the same time. Yeah, but that's Capac English. He's technically a native speaker. Shadow is Dutch. You can yes, tell I am. by the extra sh sounds she makes instead of s's sometimes, which is classic of a Dutch actor. Wow, it's true. that's the first time I've actually heard that, and I'm gonna be very aware of. Oh, I don't. That being no, no, it's not a bad thing. It's just that it's like um, Australians with our overuse of schwa. Trauma. No, 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 it's just schwa. For schwa? Yeah. Um, Australians have a habit of the turning trauma? nearly every mm. vowel sound into a uh, into a schwa. I'm not even going to try Cumbrian. No. What's the American thing? Um, comparatively overpronounce every R. That's something I actually cannot do because I have a weird R. Sorry, like, R. R. That's like just yar. a word. <laughs> well, <laughs> guess it. Uh, schwa is the neutral vowel sound. Also, no, Kanita, I am not the witch. Only when um, I've had a few, though. Schwa is like the ah uh, sound. That's schwa. I don't know why it's called schwa, but it's called schwa. What? I blame Tom Scott for me learning what that is. Uh, health check? 80. Make sure to... Okay, good. I was sitting in the seat when you went inside last. Uh, it was my only way of getting past you so that you could get out the door again without me having to back out into the storm and get injured. Are you the calling me chunky? No. I would never. Mm. Mm. You do have broad shoulders, though. We both do. I know exactly why. It's because chipsticks couldn't uh, mess with the skeleton too much. Also, I think I found cookie dough. Uh, it does look like it. The storm is lasting a while. It is a pity we didn't go the uh, wind turbine route. Oh, actually. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, maybe I can do something real quick. Uh, no idea. Uh, 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 do I have material plate somewhere? Uh, we still have some material plate. No, we don't. Uh, okay, gotcha. Uh, Make me some material plate. Uh, I bet I'll get this done just as the storm is done. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, I want cookies too. Can we, like, cook those cookies here in an oven somewhere? Like, we have a kitchen, right? Oh. Hmm. Gonna do is I'm gonna do another conversion to large grid. 
Oh dear. Oh. Oh, actually, I'd probably do it off the existing large grid, couldn't I? Also, it looks like this grid is like a chicken's head, where it's perfectly stable even though the body is not. <laughs> also, what are you doing? Your health is low. Oh. Yep, I can do it off the large grid. I'll do it off the large grid. That'll actually make it easier. I am going okay. to build a free-floating hinge or rotor, a landing gear, and then we have a grid that's attached to us, locked down to the voxels, which we can put wind turbines on. And why a conveyor tube? Because uh, it's uh, made out of light armor. I mean, uh, fair enough. interior plate. You can do some integral columns as well. Could do. I just happen to have conveyor tubes in hand at the time. All right, I was supposed to set up my health bars as well. Oh, yeah, I should do that. Um, did I just... Oh no, I was about to say, like, did I just get lost in my own mine? Which is becoming even more treacherous the more I mine in it. Wait. This will work as long as we don't have to actually build the landing gear, which we sh I don't think we should. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's locked. All right, so all we need to do now is climb up there. Low health. Oh, oh, what did you do? Uh, what is this? It works. No, it does not. It does. Oh. Uh, it's temporary. I, I hope so. <laughs> that hurts. That actually hurts. No, it's fine. So dramatic. One more steel plate. Thank you, Sire Stage. Thank you for the probe sub. Uh, what else can I grind off from here that we don't need? You're still producing all of the metal, right? Yep. Cool. I am providing it with stone. Oh, well, was. Yep. You're still producing the gravel. Oh, well, I think it's recipe. Okay, like now we just need to get I this go. wind turbine built. Also, even my chat is freaking out at your design. Oh well, design off. My my slapping together of things because it was too hard to grind off the bits that I built that I didn't need. I need seven interior plate, twenty-four girders, and two. Computers. Ow. Oh, yeah, the storm is just... is dying down. How cute was it given? I know. I am producing metal whereas Blitzy is producing abominations. Indeed. Hey, sometimes it's what you do. Mm hmm. Let's grab the metal we've got. Transfer it manually. Hmm. I mean, at least 
Worst case scenario, we end up with a wind turbine that gives us a bit of power while we figure out... Well, while we rebuild the assembler, because we should put a refinery down first, not an assembler down first. Or we can replace the basic assembler with a fancy assembler. Because I think we might have enough cobalt from the bits we got from that fighter. Hopefully. I don't know what the strange things in the assembler actually do yet. The strange things in the assembler? Like the civilian component things that we talked about earlier. Oh. Yeah, I genuinely don't know what they do. I'm guessing there are some altered recipes, like we've seen in the jump drive uh, when I did the preparation. Yep. There you go, one wind turbine, producing 54 oh, kilowatts of power. She just reminds me I needed to do something real quick as well. But hey, we're not dying anymore. Yeah, it's true. Oh, and the wind turbine's least. producing a tiny bit of power while we figure out, while we redo things. Uh, which in this case, I think is probably best we... I guess work on the little drill. Oh, actually. I guess we make all of the parts that are needed for a basic basic refinery. Uh, then we build the refinery. Then we build the assembler again. And then we build the drill rig? Or do we want to do a drill rig first? Because basically we want uh, to not have to use the first. survival kit anymore. But like, if we build the drill rig first, you're going to have to transfer stone from the trailer back to the survival kit. Yeah, but that'll be fine, because then we can immediately get the metals instead of having to mine everything still. Mm. True. I think it's cheaper to do the mining drill first. <laughs> but we can also drive now if we want. Drive? We've... Well, Storm's over. So this appendage? <laughs> no, we'd have to cut this off and grind it down. To parts. Okay, I was about to say, like, you're willing to drive with this? Uh, driving with this would be impossible, apparently. I accept your challenge. Uh, and the wind turbine oh. is down to only 39 kilowatts of power produced, so we're about to not get much from it anyway. Yeah, let's grind it down. So grind it down now? Uh, 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 hmm. No, not just yet. I have an idea. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm running away. No, it's a good idea. I'm running away even faster. So, I think we leave it there. Let's get our drill rig up like you said. But also, let's put a connector on this survival kit. So we've got a little bit of extra storage for the oh. stone. So that we're not transferring yeah. just a tiny bit at once. And so it's easier to reach as well. Uh, yeah. I approve. Okay, beat me to it then. Fine. Uh, we don't want to fully weld. We don't want to weld it up until we've got all the components in it. Assembler. Oops. I'm pretty. Oh wait, you mean transferring units? Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. Oh, no, didn't you hook up the cargo uh, container? Yeah. There is inside. Do uh, the five kits? Uh, yeah, but you can't get the. Oh yeah, true. You can get the ingots out that way. True. I put the... No, I didn't. I'm getting a little bit of flickering on our suit lights. Is that just me, or...? Uh, I haven't noticed any issues. Okay. It could just be might... the flickering of me moving around. No, it it... it's a little bit flickery. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. It's just something that I've noticed. I'm guessing it's because of my uh, game settings right now. Yeah, I had to be. lower them a little. You could possibly try upping just the lighting, the lights numbers. 
Oh, not a bad idea. Lights quality medium? High? That's too high. I would love to offer advice, but I don't have any. Good. Then we're all just lost. <laughs> lost in the desert. Lost with... Well, we've lost our minds. At least I've lost mine. Well, I'm just lost. Yeah. Evidently so. Thanks, Jilla. Thanks for the Prime Sub. Uh, I did not forget to fit, uh, finish welding the trailer to the cargo trailer. There's no cargo connection between the two anyway. Uh, and once we get a refinery on the cargo trailer, we won't need that. We won't need them connected up at all. The survival kit is connected up to a vent which pulls in oxygen from the atmosphere so we can get oxygen in our suits. or well, in our no suit anyway. Not that we can put oxygen in our suits. Um, so it all just kind of works. We don't need the survival kit connected is what I'm saying. Once we get a refinery built. Let's see stream was a bit stuttery at the beginning. Oh? No one else I hope that's that. not an issue that's still happening. No, the stuttering that was mentioned last week was um, just Icarus. It's ah. actually game stutter, not um, my PC stutter. Oh, yeah, it could be a uh, watching a stream from across the world thing as well. Uh, Thank you, Dead Beef. I agree. <laughs> Thank you for another 10 gift subs. <laughs> Over 150 of them. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> that connector looks so ridiculous. I love it. You just painted it. I did. You monster. It still looks ridiculous. Betrayal. Alright, I guess I can help you drill for a bit because we've... What have you done down here? <laughs> Mate. Welcome to my insanity hall. Don't worry, there's a better way out. I don't Depending know why there are two. I mean, at least. Because one of the ways just um, got drilled. So it's fun to fall down here. Or super jump back up, that works too. I was hoping you fell down. I did. Just not very far. <sighs> okay. Um, Black Dragon, I think you just answered your own question. Uh, also, we didn't start with the crashed rover. We created our own um, custom start, which is my usual way of doing things. Yep. I prefer he to... doesn't like playing scenarios as intended. Not true. <laughs> I do like playing scenarios as intended, but I don't like playing scenarios the same way as everybody else when it's already been played by others. That just... That... No thanks. I'm going to do something, I want to do it different. You want to be special. <laughs> I, I just want to... If I'm going to do this to entertain people, I want to actually do things differently. Fair enough. 
I've always that's why you brought that. a wild duchy along as well. <laughs> well, that's always going to be very different. I... Hmm. Not sure to see that as a compliment or an insult. Definitely a I'll compliment. I'll take it as both. Oh. And all. Kind of in the way that I say Capax very different. <laughs> <laughs> now you're not sure again, are you? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> um. Actually, I think Splitzy thought that this rofa was a pancake. That's why he flipped it the way he did. I mean, it kind of has the pancake color, I Well, hmm. Now I want more Okonomiyaki. Mm. I want a midnight snack. Savory pancakes. With delicious Japanese sauces. Also doesn't help that I'm mining something that looks like cookie dough. Yeah, that probably doesn't help at all. Well, if my stomach does oh. the wrong place, then you know why. I need so much more iron. Iron! Oof. Yep. Getting this drill rig and getting a basic refinery will be very nice. Or finding a large grid crash thing. That would also be nice. Beat me to offloading your stone. You're welcome. <laughs> Glad to be of service. I was just about to clear my inventory of stone and yours dropped in. I was like, no, no. Too slow. Yeah. Playing this with knowing it's from stone, um, I can see that being a, an interesting way to play if you don't mind a very slow start. I think this is about the limit of a slow start that I'd want for something on stream. Also, I do plan yeah. at some point, as long as Shadow agrees, uh, to potentially uh -oh. maybe add some Twitch integration to this. Sure. Uh, but we need to just make sure it's balanced, whatever we add. See you, Shizu. Standing up the shadow. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out like on what part of the planet we are. Uh. Because currently the south and north pole are not facing toward the gas giant. Does the gas giant help us? It might if we can find out where the planets are in relationship to us. Yeah, we but might do we know be able that? To determine... No, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Um, so the. The Twitch mod idea that the the Twitch integration that I would want to set oh. up first uh, is what I was working on a while back. Uh, the idea would be for the um, for you guys to be able to spawn in basically unknown signals. Oh, that's actually a good point. I should get mine. Oh yeah, yeah. They're probably they're actually worth it for the steel plate. <laughs> I'm 
Thank you, Dominator. I did a hydrate. We probably would have wanted to... Had we known how much it costs to make steel plate, we probably... We would have actually picked up the stuff that we... Like, from that rack. We would have ground everything down. That fighter was underground. Oh. I shall be back. Okay. M maybe. Don't die out there. Hopefully, a storm doesn't You can't tell in. me what to do. You are trying to jinx me. No. Would mm. I do that? that Pants, like do you have a prediction running right now? Maybe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Huh. Oh. Can reach that from the ground. That's better. Yeah, weirdly, I've only seen shadows as well. I reckon mine might be broken. Mm. That's okay. You're just gonna steal mine. No, but please bring back all the plate from yours. <laughs> but I can't use it. Weird. Need 924 iron. Ah, oh, that's so much iron. That's just for one drill. Ugh. Sounds like everything is going well uh, back there. Ugh. Uh... Also, I do have a present for you momentarily as well. Oh yeah, what's that? Well, a bunch of iron plates, at least. Yep, that would be And lovely. something secret. A lovely... If you can put whatever... Um, materials you've got into the drill when you get back. Uh, so then we can reset and see how much we still need. That would be great. Inventory full. How is our battery going? 181.9 kilowatts. That's Running, 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 running. How far away are you now? Uh, yes. So how many steel plate did you pick up? I have 29. Oh, yes. You can cancel all of them being made. Also, I am 450 meters south. Cool. So that takes us down to just 300 um, kilos of iron needed. Which is a substantial improvement. Also, where's... Oh, that part. Come on, bounce. Yes. How do I get the trailers to work? Well, 
Uh, basically, to set up a trailer, you need freedom of movement in three axes, but some limitations so that it's not like unlimited movement in those axes. So you use a rotor and two hinges is the easiest setup. So I've placed in the drill. Inventory yeah, weld full. up the drill as much as you can. There we go. <laughs> Did you just watch me fall back in the hole? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> I know the hole's there, and I still keep forgetting. Good. Makes it more fun that way. It's more fun for you. Yeah, that's what I mean. Nine construction components and the four steel tubes. Oh yeah, good good call. Uh, advanced rotor. Oh, I got a visit of five for kids again. Ooh, Low uh, in energy. Mm. What are you doing? Haha. Did what? Um, I was just worried for a second that I did something that was very bad. <laughs> but it actually ended up okay. Oh. Hopefully. Maybe when we grind it down we'll find out that what I did was bad. Mm hmm. It's recharge. Easy on my finger that way. And need to do one last modification to the thing I was working on. But Ravon, pretty much every single one of my video series, at some point, I have built a vehicle with a trailer hitch. Um. So you should be able to find some good examples in any of my old content. Or even earlier in this stream, because I built this today. What now? Talking about hitches. Oh. Also, uh, JP Mystic, please refrain from talking Dutch. I might be Dutch, but I do prefer keeping my channel English. For the broad audiences. It's 30 more iron. Oh yeah, wrong way up would be a... <laughs> Very many trailers were built in that. Uh, some of them even rebuilt. Okay, Shadow, we have a drill. I mean, if you wanted to call me a drill, you could've. No way to be so indirect. I don't have to do all ow, all the mining. Uh, mm. I don't think you're gonna mine any stone that way. Oh, okay. Yeah, that works better. Sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> At this point, I don't know. Also, I have something for you. Oh. To your left. Ooh. 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 Um, we sure I want to have that? I have one as well. Energy yeah, low. just thinking about the, the risks of it. Oh, you mean the latency issues? Yeah. Ah, it'll be fine. I, if I can manage, surely you can as well. <laughs> I'm mining! I'm <laughs> doing it! The main reason I might not be able to manage it is that I'm not used to managing it. Yeah, okay, sure. I mean, largely because I haven't recorded any um, more of the collector in a week. So I haven't been to it. Oh, you're slacking! Rude. Is it not true? No. Okay, fair enough. Doing other stuff being productive, I just happened to not be doing that. This is weird. <laughs> being on it as I move it around. 
Yeah, especially because it's so sudden. Like, there's no build up, it's just immediate motion. Yeah. Just don't know if we actually collected. Probably not a whole lot. So, why is Caps like that? Because uh, you're 8, angry? Oh, I keep pressing CC. It's... Oh, hang on. Is the rock... Like, the black rock around here, is that stone? Directly? Oh, it might be. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh, what would be the best area here? So, 151, 948. Uh. Hmm. Does it seem to be dropping more? Yes and no. Interesting. So, the blackstone itself doesn't seem to drop more, but the sand attached to it is dropping more. I'm confused. Yeah. But I guess in general, yes. Yes, it is providing us with more stone. Okay, so we should probably move on from here. Okay, uh, I'll grind the wind turbine if you say... Should we go. build a battery first before we do? Since our battery we built before is now down to 16% power. That should be enough to get us over there, at least. Oh yeah, if you're talking about just getting over there, yeah. Unless we want to try and drive for a bit. And just park it, like... Um, Let me rephrase my question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, would you like to potentially um, try and find, like, an actual deposit? Of something um, once we've got another probably. battery built yeah but for now should we move over to the richer rock well the reason not to do that would be that we're still getting power from the wind turbine yeah okay true Also getting power from the sun now. Yay! Uh, one blip. Also, sunlight's probably mm. a good time for us to be moving, isn't it? Uh, have you transferred any of the uh, stone across? Uh, 3k, yeah. Want well. me to do more, or are you measuring? No, I'm not measuring at all. Ah, okay. Yeah. I'm hoping to get enough iron that we can get this battery built. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah, same here. Need another so, uh -oh. 400 iron. 400? Yeesh. Well, I guess I'll continue mining as well. Unless you want to control this mining rig. Nah. <laughs> You're worried you that things something will to flip. do now as well. No, I'm just worried I'm gonna take your job. Uh, fair, I and suppose. I'm doing uh, quite good, right? How about yourself? Glad to see you.
Au. Yeah, got 12,000 stone in the back. It's not too bad. This thing's full. Get more of this. Ugh. Yeah. Basic refinery is something we need soon. Like real soon. <laughs> yeah. It's just so slow refining all this high stone. Uh, if anything, what we need is a basic refinery and iron. But yeah, that. Hmm. Yeah, but at least if we have a basic refinery, um, we can just drag drill and just leave the drill running, but drilling off the back as we drive around, slowly. I don't see how that can possibly go wrong. It'll probably go horribly wrong, but I mean, it might might be okay, maybe. Oh, if we're driving at 20, it should be fine. Yeah, we drive slowly. And gently. Oh, uh, it's not going to be fine. Still getting used to my new keyboard. Keep miss hitting keys. Sure, the playing key... your new keyboard. Well, the key placement is just a tiny bit different. Yeah, fair enough. I, I know because I sometimes switch between my laptop keyboard and my yeah. non-laptop keyboard, and that switch is like, what am I doing? Okay. And what alien language did I just type in? Battery done. Hey, Nev. Yes, drag drilling on a <laughs> rover. Always smart. Always works. <laughs> Nothing could possibly go wrong. The enemy will never be able to track you in your mobile trenching caravan. <laughs> <laughs> How did they find us? <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. So you didn't build the warfare battery. That's a shame. Sometimes I don't want a warfare battery. Yeah, fair. Mm. Mm. Okay, uh, let's, um, mm. guess grind down this appendage. Well, and turn it? off the drill? Well, don't we want the drill off? Because we're about to drive with it? Not right now. Play. I'm just being very conservative of the no, power. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. Ow! Oof. Oops. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> you... <sighs> oh! Oops. <laughs> That's a splatter. <laughs> Uh... Rude. I didn't think he'd be under it! <laughs> when I ground it down. And that is why you warn people of what you're about to do! <laughs> Sorry. So, so far you've killed two people, one of which is yourself. Yep. Good job. It's true. Alright, uh... You want to turn the drill on? Or shall I do it from inside? It's on. Okay, let's see how we... How it goes. Are we a static grid? We might be a static grid. Did you turn off handbrake? Oh no, wheels. Oh, the wheels are off. Damn. You got them? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and hmm. we going okay. Yep, Noble this Hunter. Splitsy killed me again. Although that is the first time this playthrough, but it won't be the yeah. last. I'm sure of it. Oh, okay, in that instance, yes, I was the Doom Voxel. 
<laughs> you absolute doom fox, are you? <laughs> Thank you. You used it. Oh, okay. We may want to lift the drill. Uh, how did you place the drill? Or uh, the, the hinge? I might just do it manually. Oh no! Handbrake? Handbrake Hand is on! <laughs> okay, hang on. Let me quickly do it. Oh, the handbrake's boy. not strong enough! One moment. The caravan's in a hole! Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That better? No. Unfortunately not. It's okay. genuinely not better. We are stuck in a no, hole. No, we're not. Get back into the cockpit. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, just get back into the cockpit. Alright. It's that I've got no... Like, we're gonna need a... We're gonna need a separate wheel control script for this. Or the driver assistance script, whichever one you want to set up. So we need some push from the rear. Are you trying to transfer stone between them? No. I'm trying to push, but that's not working. Okay, uh, let's lift the drill back up. Yeah, the issue is... Hang on. Oh, come on. Come on, they're all in contact now. Drive! We should have enough materials to make a programmable block. Hopefully, yeah. Oh, oh. careful! Careful! Careful is not my middle name. I know! It's Madman! It's sort of working. <laughs> oh no, poor little pebble. Uh, come on. No. We've bottomed out the trailer. <laughs> Please don't do more drilling. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Um, hmm. Right? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, maybe, maybe. Stop, 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 stop. Ah! Hang on, hang on. All right, now I'll stop. <laughs> Please. <sighs> dangerous to be around, do you know that? I do. Good. Uh, you're getting back up? Uh, ow. Trying. Yeah, at some point we really are going to have to match up these wheels to each other. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's a good idea to have the driving assist script here. Power situation? <laughs> yeah, that is a bit good. Well, that as well, but Oops. also with the way we have our trailers. All like, right. I don't know, something just feels... This will go horribly wrong about it. This way is probably the better way to go.
The scary thing is that Splitzy is the one with a driver's license in IRL. Yes? And one of the reasons Capac often makes me drive once I add a trailer to whatever we're doing is because of the two of us, Capac and I, um, I'm the only one who's driven with the trailer. Ooh, we're getting some fish tailing. What are you doing? <laughs> that, that's not me. That's just our hitches. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Any time oh, sorry, I know what you're talking about. starts that happening. Yeah, like, the thing just gets very happy and does a little dance. Yeah. And then we end up with happy tail go? syndrome and we have to cut off half our tail. Like Charlie. Oh. It is literally called happy tail syndrome too. That, that's so unfitting. Also, uh... Wags it so violently that she hit it into walls and ended up breaking the skin and then spraying blood everywhere. Ooh. Also, the caravan back is starting to hit the ground. Yeah, I know. We might need a skid wheel. No, we just need to put bigger wheels on the caravan and it'll be fine. <laughs> Why don't we? Um, we have the resources. No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. It'll take us forever to build, like, yeah. Uh, we might have the resources now, but yeah, we probably... I was thinking of getting a refinery before we built the wheels on it. And that's at the very least build a skid wheel now before it gets too late no, and we it's lose fine. our bay trailer stop stressing, again. Stop stressing, it's fine. I know what you can do with this rover. See, it's better. <sighs> also, we grind down our wind turbine and storm. Mm. We are a snake. Oh, we are a aggressive snake hey Randall oh this is bad it's real bad are we supposed to see like crash stuff or stuff we can get around here that spawns in I don't know I don't know either I thought we were I thought that's how we found the fighter in the first place. But it is fun watching your cockpit from the back. Because of how you wiggle. <laughs> yep. It's so violent. <laughs> oh, man. It truly looks like you are doing that on purpose. That's yep. how bad it is. Yep. Oh, boy. on the ground? No, there was a hole in the ground though. I mean, I can try removing that fighter because maybe that beacon is preventing another spawn. Uh, possibly, but it might, we may have to check some things on the server to see whether any of the... Because I had transferred all the storage files, but I'm wondering if something went funky with it when starting it on the server instead of as a local save. Maybe. I don't really have a lot of knowledge when it comes to mods for this game, so I wouldn't know where to look. Yeah, I'm hoping I can turn left when we get to the bottom of this. Right away because that there. would have been sensible, Cumbrian, to put the wheels on the caravan and just make the caravan longer. What? Why would you do that? <laughs> oh no, that's a dead end. Uh. Ooh. Yay, 
Hey, we're going back to my unknown signal. Oh no, it's seven kilometers away. Oh, uh... Feels like I'm on Mars again. What are you doing? Wow. Why is the caravan <laughs> a little uh, bit lifted up into the air? Is uh, transferring stone from the back to the survival kit so I can do stuff while we're moving. Fair enough. Because we want to have all the stone being refined. Just sitting around waiting for it. And it might improve the handling slightly. <laughs> also, can we please add a little skid wheel to the back of the caravan before something disastrous does happen? Nope, get in. We're moving. <laughs> also, that was a nice jump. Yeah, well played. Um, yeah, we're gonna go this way. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that, Colin. At this point, I'm starting to think Spritzy is the one causing all the chaos. No. Couldn't possibly be true. Uh, also, dragged on the, the hitches can transfer, sort of transfer items, but there's no conveyoring within the caravan. Uh, it was one of the intentional flaws in the caravan design. Uh, so we would have to build all of that to allow for transfer of items. There's a part of me that's like, should we head back to the fighter? I mean, we can. I think the thing disagrees. I think so. Let's go this way then. <laughs> Not to realize we had a third player. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Careful! It's role playing a snake. <laughs> I gotta say, I don't know if I feel safe being in a middlemost section. <laughs> or... I, 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 honestly, it is totally the safest place to be. Also, we have no eligible spawns. No oh boy. We broke it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, um Uh no, we'd have to do a server restart to fix anything. Although that should take like five minutes max, but preferably not on stream. Yeah. Oh back wheels riding from one to one. Oh, like I ambassador. said, this ship this thing is just very happy. Should we head to the ambassador? Yeah, can do. Wait, unless that's in space. Wasn't that the ship we found on the hill? I don't know. Oh, it's gone. I've seen it popping up. I think it, is the, uh, I think it might be the one on the hill. Yeah, that's that's a there we go, we've got a heading. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. We're doing the happy dance again. <laughs> yeah, I should probably fix the tail, but it's kind of fun doing this. Until we flip or something else happens. Yeah. I kind of want a seat on the drill. <laughs> so you can make everyone in your stream ill. Yes. Uh, I 
think I'll go this way straight ahead. Yep. East, northeast. For a second, I thought that hole in the ground was one that we'd made. But huh? It's just um, a terrain variant variation. Uh, propulsion is not enabled on the rear wheels. No, we have intentionally not done anything that would consume more power as we're already going the speed we want to go and we have two hours of power left give or take I can't tell if it drives like that or if this is a little splitsy trolling um yes oh I don't feel safe there's a there's, there's a pair of there's a planet and a moon ahead of us Or a moon and a sub moon. Also, some moon. terrain differences up ahead. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a lighter sand. Oh dear. And careful. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> Don't get too excited. Okay, problem. Big problem. Only option Mom here is to I send it. Out. Because the trailer is catching up to us. If I try and slow down, all goes bad. <laughs> That's one way to slow down. Oh man. Yeesh, man. Yeesh. Also, I'm currently looking at the map. I love how you're blaming me for this, and yet it was you who did the mid the mixed size wheels on our truck here. I don't think that's our biggest problem. Biggest? No. Problem? Yes. I think our biggest problem is that you brought me along. Uh, okay. No, I disagree. The biggest problem is that we didn't have the time to test to see if the spawns were working. Ah, it'll be fine. That's interest to the in interest? Hmm. Interest to the next stream. Interest. Most interesting. Okay. Ooh. So we are at uh, a border between sand and, and sand. Orange sand. Mountain area. That runs. Um, stop oh I know why the brake barely works because we don't have brake enabled for the front wheels which is probably safe with a trailer on uh, but runs from southwest mm -hmm. to northeast It could be that one, or it could be anywhere along this thing. Hmm. <laughs> or it could be this one. Yeah. So I think we're either here, somewhere, or anywhere along there. My guess is we're on this one, and we're there. I close to the gold, you mean? Uh, no, a cobalt is. Oh. So if you look around the equator, I think we might be near the equator. Yeah, I'm guessing that as well, because the North Pole and South Pole are both facing away from the gas giants. Like, oh, you think everything's on a plane? With the planet placement? Maybe. Mm, maybe. Um, so, if we keep heading, um, kind of southeast, we might run into an ice lake. And if we do, then we know where we are. If we don't, then we might be too far south. And we might discover an ore that will help us point in the right direction as well. Yeah. I'm all for this plan. Okay. Wait, 
I just brain that wrong? Heading from... Would it be nice to see, like, where the gas giant is? Northeast. That way. Yeah, that way. That's right. Hmm. Uh, definitely no ore around here either, although I think I can see one over there, so maybe I'm actually going to drive over there. Wait. What? Where is our moon? Oh. Have you found mm. any information indicating where the planets are in relation to each other? Because... Yes, I have. Oh, okay. Oh, the ambassador's actually... in this direction anyway, so... Let's head this way. We are in the orange planet, or at the orange planet. Yes. If you have a moment to look at Discord. Or you go to the system viewer. Oh, as I well. see. I see what you're using. Yeah. So looking at the gas giant, we can see. Ah. But which planet is which on the right and left? Ah. Just click on it. No, 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 I mean in game. Oh, yeah. So the planet to the right is Agaris. I think. It does look very lush. Um, and it, well, because it's also the one with the moon. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way of looking at it as well. Um, so the one to the left is the um... pink planet, which is Crate. I'm pretty sure. Um, so, that doesn't help me. So there is also a volcanic area on this planet. And that is where you start out on the map. So I wonder if it's like, is that the area facing the gas giants? Oh yeah, I did do the, I did, I did brain the map wrong. Oh, oh man, we could be anywhere. There are so many more places. Yeah, because the white sands to the west. I got the angle right, but I was looking at the wrong side of the orange patch. So we could be here somewhere. So one thing we know for certain, we're not very close to the volcanic areas. Yes. We could be here. We're probably, or we could be here. So my guess is that the volcan volcanic, the volcanic area is facing the moon. I reckon we're somewhere along here. Um, so if you look at the, if you got the map up, like the globe map. Uh, yeah, I'm not showing it on stream, unfortunately. Okay. So there's there's an area of orange that's oh. on the equator that has a magnesium on the top of a mountain. And cobalt yes, near an ice lake. Yeah, cobalt I think being we're at the western left. edge of that. We might be. So we're approaching gold. Oh wait, no, you turned away. That looks like a cartoonish Australia. Not really. All this stuff, I mean, oh. if you'd have to cut it off there. What if we continue heading to the gas giant? Oh, going along the equator. Well, the direction I'm heading is where that ambassador wreck is. Uh, but also, I think I saw an ore marker in the distance. Oh, yeah, okay, no. We need to get ore. Also, I don't know why, but that map is lagging my laptop. <laughs> oh. Being weird. I might be able to do a sneaky thing. Is that an ore marking or is that just. Oh, maybe it wasn't an ore marking. Uh, it could just be sand on that hill. Looks like someone bending over in shorts. Wow. Pardon? <laughs> can see it. Just not where my head would have gone first. 
Uh-huh. Whoa, well, careful now. This is me being careful. This is this is a non-optional action that happens here. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Hang on. If if we are where I think we are, we should keep heading north until mm -hmm. like we should keep heading along this way until we see. Yeah, yeah. We should keep heading along this way because if we can see an orange space in a distance, then we're in that kind of narrow bit of sandy val gap between the two pieces, and we should find cobalt at one end of one of them. Yeah. So we need a crow's nest. <laughs> well, that's what that person camera is for, I guess. <laughs> but yes, I would like to see you wobbling around in a crow's nest. That would be funny. Thanks, Nev. Oh, that's an old spot. Might be, yeah. Now, if I get out of my seat, will I die? Um, at 23 meters a second, I give it a 50-50. Also, you may get out of the vehicle. There we go. I am picking my head out. Okay. What do you see, Shadow? Silicon. Ow! Oh. <laughs> this is a giant silicon deposit. Come on. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, I too am disappointed, but your agony is uh, bittersweet. Amusing. At least been iron. <laughs> well, we can maybe no. use it to orient ourselves, or is silicon not shown on it's the map? It's not at shown all? on the map. Cobalt, <laughs> magnesium, gold, and crocs. Okay, we can mine crocs here or mine in crocs. No one should mine in crocs. <laughs> If I had my way, no one would be in Crocs. How rude. Uh... <laughs> what are you? <laughs> what have you done now? No, I think. What is the I um that is for industrial overhaul R O R Roar? Yep. Oh, that's a weird thing for me to say. Especially with my weird pronunciation of the R. Oh. <laughs> I can't, but, uh, it does sound like you're doing a cute little roar though. Don't you say that again. Uh <laughs> <sighs> But, uh, yeah, it's for mod compatibility with industrial overhaul. Uh, have, which I was a hard no for. <laughs> I'm okay with not doing IO, to be honest. As fun as it is to do the grind, not great for stream. At all. I, I'm I'm not a fan of how it plays either. That's fair. Like I, I I don't actually enjoy playing Space Engineers that way. Oh Jake Music, I am very far away from Limburg. Or Limburg. How we would pronounce it in Dutch.
Yeah, and I don't I am think we're close to the North Pole. Not on signal. No, but it's all the way back. Oh. Yeah, let's keep going. We'll probably stop up Wait, soon. Oh, welder. How am I supposed to weld my cows now? Oh wait, are we close to the pole? Did I? Did I? We should be. Oh, hang on. You guys might be right. I wasn't paying attention to the coordinates. Hang on, let's go north. Conveniently towards Shadow's thing. See? Every time I get distracted by something, it actually leads us the right way. Unknown signal. Not we're true. Going the right way. Not Armadillo. true. Armadillo. We're going uh, the not right true. way. <laughs> no. <laughs> I found things while you were following the armadillo. There's a difference. Exactly. It's a good omen. Okay, so if we find the pole, then we just have to figure out which direction things are from the pole. Is that still... it helps us, but then we don't have an orientation. Uh, the thing disagrees, apparently. No, it agrees. That's its happy agree way. I didn't see you do the stomps, though. Uh, you can absolutely... there we go. Oof. What did you do? I don't know. Oh, sorry. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Could you stop for a moment? I see a problem with the wheels. The fact that I don't have braking on the front wheels. What are you braking on? What's wrong with the wheels? Strength eight. Hey, huh? I mean, we might be on a little bit of an incline, but uh, should I raise the strength a little bit more? No, no, I'd leave it. I'd leave it. Because okay. more will then put more force down on the hitch for the trailer. Yep. Well, let's go. Okay. Alright, so this is at the North Pole. Just hit oh. M. <laughs> so we're here. Now, we have a location, but we don't have an orientation because we don't know if I head down this way. So I've got to use the edge of the sand bit to find our orientation. Oh, yeah, we are at the pole. You're right. So if I head south Wait. and we have orange to our, uh, I'm heading south, and we have orange to our right, then we're on this section. If I head south and we have orange to our left, we have it on this section. So I'm thinking what we do is we turn around and go back the way we were just going before because that did have orange on our right, which means then if we continue on that heading, cross the sand and then try and cross down to this cobalt and maybe even hit that ice if we're lucky. But if we get to the cobalt, then we can get to that ice. I think we head down and then try and follow that path and keep going due south. Uh, but what we should also do is slash GPS north pole. I heard your typing. <laughs> yeah. Just letting you know. I think my keyboard might be louder when I type, even though I was getting this to be quiet. Yeah, I was about to ask, like, are you programming? <laughs> no. <laughs> Might do a little bit of that in um, Station Ears, though. Maybe. Ooh. Maybe. What's the pink marker? So the pink marker is where gold can be found. Um, yep. Which a we do want, but there's gold here, which is closer to where the cobalt is, and the cobalt's more important than gold. Good morning, Ninjut. You're up early? No, it's 10 to 9. Well, I don't know. I mean, I would hope... Oh, uh, no, Lenjet's East Coast. Ish. Eastern state. Eastern um, territory, anyway. Thanks. 
I do love to live dangerously. Just poking my head out a little. Always fun. Where's Santa's workshop? Does he have an assembler? Hmm. You're logged in and working. Oh, I am so sorry for your loss. Uh, yes. Working hard there, Lenjet. We're hardly working. Uh -huh. <laughs> Enjoyed my sarcastic laugh, did you? Is that what it was? Yep. Oh. <laughs> so we've got topography on this map, but we don't have the dark stone bits showing up where the orange areas are. We only see the height differences and a yep. little bit of that. What did I just see? Hmm. Oh, Shadow. I think we should come to a stop. I mean, you're in control. Oh, oh no. Much I can do about it. No, no. I'm going to just go a bit further. Um... The reason I think we should stop shortly is we should fix the wheels and see if we can fix this snaking. Because the snaking makes it very hard for me to keep true to a direction. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it makes it very difficult. Also, it looks like the caravan is being lifted into the air a little. Like it's being carried. It, it yeah. feels that way, at least. Yeah, it almost is. So what we should probably do when we stop... Wait. Yeah, have a good one, Cumbrian. Oh, yeah. Uh, is adjust all of the wheels to have the same separation as the rear wheels on the truck. We should fix a few things, but we'd mainly just fix those caravan wheels for now. And the hitch between the truck and the caravan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm using your concerned noises as my guide for when I should slow down. Mm. <laughs> Not sure how to feel about that one. <laughs> Relying on you paying attention instead of me. It works perfectly every time. Also, I think that's an ore marker in front of us. I think it is too. That's what, I was, what I've been heading towards. That's what made me not stop immediately. And if it happens to be iron, to watch TV. we may well... I may well be tempted to stay here a while. Oh, we don't need to stay long. Yeah, we see. can just collect enough to get some basics up and running. I mean, it would be nice to make a little outpost at the very least. So, what does your drill say? Ooh. Silicon again. Uh, please don't kill me, that's for sure. Yeah, silicon. Ah! <laughs> why cruel world why you curse us so clunk 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 Stop, stop. Hmm. Seems reversing. Uh, no, not that is not here. the same silicon deposit. I think keeping track of the silicon deposits we're going to. That is not how you do a GPS. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Sorry, um, autopilot. I guess we'll uh, chill here for a minute as we sure. attempt to fix. Oh, actually, we want flat ground for this, don't we? Sure. <laughs> well, we're going to be lifting things up on pistons and we probably don't want it sliding down the hill.
There we go. That's better. Alright. So, pistons. Yep. Hmm. I know! Do we want the... Hello! Do we want the pistons first? Also, hello? Uh... Or do we want to build a refinery first? Um... Let's fix the wheels first. Okay. Refinery is just going to drain our power. True, true, true. I do wonder if it's more power Thank you so much for the raid, you two. Welcome in, raiders. Welcome to shenanigans. The Splitzy has already killed me twice. No, I have not. It's not true oh, at all. Oh, well, you killed two people twice. That's... Also, that is quite the posture That's you That's also there. not true. You've killed yourself and you've killed me. Yeah. That's what I was I trying to say. two people once. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> My brain no brainy. But he's murdered people, that's what matters. <laughs> wow. How many times have we blown up? Oh. We've blown up small parts a few times. Thanks, Tyrone. And thank you for calling the I missed that earlier. And he's flipped the row for once already. Oh, call Oh, well. One month short. Did a backflip. How did you flip? Oh, flip. I know how. Shadow, you shouldn't. Your suit has magic jetpack. What do you mean? I can't activate jetpack. I can't either. How did you get jetpack before? Because I hopped out of the cockpit, so Space Engineers probably forces that state when you're moving. Uh, yes, But I, I get the... You yep. can't do this <laughs> noise. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Colopop. Thank you for almost three years. And Tyrone Bourne, thank you for almost two years. Nope, that is not the thing I wanted to control. So, uh, replace the wheels? Or add a skid? Replace. Cool. Do we want to just go to three by threes or do we want to go five by fives? Five by fives will look absolutely ridiculous, so let's do five by five. Okie dokie. I reckon add an extra block in so we move it move yep. them to the same width as the uh, the tractor. Just making sure I have the left and right wheels. Thank you, Zockley! Oh, the... <laughs> Thank you for the raid! Oh. How's it going, Zock? Jeez. How does the Hello. prep for, uh... For all the ten-year stuff going? Ten-year shenanigans. Oh, uh, that's bad. Hmm. I need to put a plate inside. And how's the recovery going, Zock? Oh, yeah. I don't know what happened, other than he had... you had surgery? Hope you're doing alright, man. Oh, I can't reach from there. Oh, you're doing it there! Oh! oh. Well, it's there's fine. a door on this side. We still need to access it. Mm. Uh, it is my fault. I should have been paying attention, but I still like to get grumpy. Regardless, I mean. Yeah. Sounds like you have had a rough time of it, Zuck. I do hope it's getting better, though. Yeah. Uh, the rotor is already down uh, as far as it can go. Uh, it's because I've lifted things up on this piston that it's gotten out of reach again.
I always find it so hard to see, like, how am I supposed to orient the wheels? Like, do I have them upside down, or...? There's a little knobbly bit on the top that tells you where the top is. So the yellow part is on top. Uh... So, Shadow, come, come down here and uh, look at the front wheel. Oh, yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, okay. And I did have it the right way up. Yeah, so there's that disc round bit that is always on top. Uh, one problem. With the piston there, it can't add a wheel? Yep. Hmm. Alright, we need to place a different piston then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Funny would have been nice. Nah, where's the funny that? Oh, I suppose you do enjoy squishing me, apparently, so. I don't enjoy that. I'm amused mm -hmm. by it. Just know to stay away from whatever you're working on now. <laughs> I'm just trying to surprise you sometimes. Because, well. By killing me, yeah. Well, no, no, the killing was uh, very much unintentional and not desired. Hmm. I don't believe you. <laughs> Apparently not. Also, oh, that does look absolutely ridiculous and I love it. Uh, we need to transfer some of that stone back because we've run out of materials to build these wheels. Oh, yep. You mean out of the cockpits or the storage? Uh, either or. Okay. We just got... Oh wait, you've already built the wheel. You already had the parts. Okay, so now we just Apparently gotta set up the so. spring. <laughs> uh, that is not entirely true, Dominator. I think we will be able to get back each other, even though we don't have a jetpack. Yeah, just wait till we're in space and we don't have a jetpack and then we just accidentally run off things. Yeah, I can see that happening quite quickly as well. Okay. We just need to make sure we have a gravity generator. So. We now need to replace this hitch. I'm gonna leave you to do that. Yeah. I I don't know how to do hitches properly, so. In the meantime, oh. I'll go and mine a little bit of stone. Well, you can use the stone. I... You can use our miner to do it. Oh, right, of course. And you, I think that might have you. Have we transferred all the stone yet? Uh, most of it at least. Okay. Also, that's it. I'm renaming this thing. Well, this thing, the cargo containers. Oh, you're renaming. Can you. If, uh, actually, no, no, no. You do you. I don't have any particular preference right now. Uh, formation. This thing is now called the stomping trailer. Oh, I thought you'd call it the wagging tail. Oh, that's the drill. The whole trailer was the wagging thing. I know you do. Kit. Okay, 
Oh, what am I actually looking for here? I've just been ordering up a whole bunch of parts that I don't need. And then I need... Uh-oh. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Did you shoot for standing on a wheel? <laughs> Will it teach me, though? Will it? No. No, it won't. It's fun to launch you. Oh. I think the rover and trailers look like a salamander as they drove. Yeah, yeah, accurate. I have a harder time getting on this wheel when I'm near shadow. Oh, yeah, oh. Are you blaming me for... No. Well, your inability to jump on wheels. No, just space engineer's weirdness. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh. Shadow. I don't like the sound of this. Oh, no, never mind. Never I don't mind. like okay. you walking to me with a grinder either. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, but I do kind of need to move the move our rig. Just move it out of the way, or no, straighten it up. It? I need the hitch to be relatively straight for this. It'll make life a lot easier. Oh, I should raise the drill. Yeah, that's why I was letting you. There you go. Alright, that should be good. Unless you want me to move... Actually, I'll move a bit further forward so you've got a clear area to drill again. Okay. There we go. Ow. My plan with this hitch is to actually attach a new one while the old one's still there. Oh, well, that's going to be clang mag. Clang mag, I think? Hmm. Also, hello, Ollie James. Going pretty good here. Hmm. Apart from so. being killed, but yeah. Hey, 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 hey. It's only happened <laughs> once. <laughs> Usually you can't kill somebody more than once. Usually. But if you can't, you're not trying hard enough. Uh. <laughs> Guys, I don't feel safe anymore. Why did I agree to this? Why not build a little platform on the side of the trailer so you can get onto more easily? Um, yes. I don't have any that good reason. Be smart. Not to. Um, I'm just. I've gotten myself into a mindset where I'm like, I won't spend any materials, I don't immediately have to. And so I'm not spending materials. Mm hmm. Emeralds, there's no reason for me to weld up any connections. Uh, well, I mean, other than the assembler thing. Uh, uh, but that's really expensive to do, so that's why I haven't done it. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? Do you not see the last trader move? Oh, right. I mean, that's one effective way to mine, but... <laughs> I didn't, I didn't realise that was going to happen with what I was doing. <laughs> um, you might want to well, pull that in, because this is sliding a lot. Yeah. But it's also getting us a lot of stone. <laughs> yeah. Have you been transferring any of it? Nope. <laughs> that would have been a good thing to do. Yeah, maybe. And 
Thank you, Victorus. Thank you for 14 months. And thank you, Shadow Wolf, for three months. So what I was trying to do up front uh, was lift up where I'm building this kit so that I could access it better. Mm. Are you nervous about what I'm doing here? I, I know what you're capable of. So you shouldn't be nervous. I'll be fine. I I don't trust that you'll be able to land the rover on its wheels again. <laughs> if you do end up flipping it. But in that case, I do want to be inside of the caravan when it happens. So one moment. <laughs> I'm ready. You wait. Right, wait right. now. Oh, oop. Retreat 100 meters. <laughs> oh. Hang on, it's not done yet. Now it's Yay! Done. Oh. You can't just play with my emotions like that, man. I was getting excited. Also, you didn't even line it up to the little hitch I made. That's just mean. What? You didn't greeble. Look at how bad the hitch looks now. Oh, right. I was gonna get rid of this. Oh, it looks like it has a giant schnoz. And then I need to do this. There we go. Done. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was standing on your back on my screen. That's true. Okay. Cool. We have a hitch that now has Hang all on. the degrees of movement that we need. Yep, but the creeping is not done yet. Things about to explode, maybe. Okay. Are Three, you sure? Two. One. Ah, oh, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you, Dragnon, for another ten gift subs, you lunatic. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Uh, all right. Put that to about. Degrees. 15 always seems about right. And then these ones. I should not be here when you're working on those. Let's go to 25. Yeah. Nice. The hitches are all at the same height now. That'll help. Oh, and now that we actually have the clearance... Um... You can get in there and finish what you're working on, I think. Cool. Okay. Uh, oh. So now we can drive. No. I... I... Hang on. <laughs> or... Or... Maybe... I don't like where this is going. Maybe we'll soon have enough materials to build a refinery. That's still too long. Uh, right. 
Yeah, there's no way we're gonna get a basic primary up anytime soon. Uh, <laughs> let's see how much we need for that. Oops. It's not the key I meant to press. There we go. My ah, fault. Oh, let's do these training wheels. Why are you making training wheels? Because of your driving, maybe? No, 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 no. We're at, we've lifted this. That's going to make it worse. Ah, it'll be fine. That is <laughs> absolutely going to make it worse. Well, I'm not the one driving, so... Wow. Also, is it really going to be that bad? Hey, Dex. Uh, yeah, yeah. Even if it's zero friction? Yeah, because if they if they catch on any of unstable ground, they can flip us. Also, one okay. of our batteries is dead. It's been like that for a while. Uh, well, then we probably, before we move on, want to build this battery. Ow! Oh. I should not have jumped into <laughs> your path, path of your welding. <laughs> no, probably not. We need 704 iron ingots. Uh... No, wait, because we don't need the steel plate. We need 200. That's really quite doable. That doesn't take us too long. Uh, Shadow, did you want to place a temporary turbine in this storm? Uh, do we have the materials? Uh, we'd have a lot of them, yeah. Not sure. Right. Oh, whoa. I just need a steel plate. I think we both do. Got any iron in there? 165. Not a lot, but. Yeah, pop it in. Because then I can just quickly make the hinge and the landing gear and we can stick the turbine down. Good idea. So we want to do that bit first, don't we? And I'll quickly cancel the. Never mind. Oh, thank you. Thank you for putting it the right way. <laughs> oh, is that what hurt you last time? That I don't yes. deliberately place them wonky. You what? What? Deliberately? Yeah. Ow! Rude. Served. Oh, hang on. We might have a problem. Uh, what is the problem? It's all right. I can totally do this without destroying our, our thing. Let me guess, you're going to adjust the limits on the hinge so it's upward a bit more so you can place your landing gear. Yep. I'm getting some popcorn. But where would one get popcorn on such a planet? Do we have some in the kitchen? Oh, apparently that's the wrong way. Uh, also, apparently it's ignoring my hinge limits. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Huh. Hey, Tommaso! <laughs> Thanks for 22 months! Almost two years. I uh, hope you had a nice vacation. Okay. That's problematic. Okay. Um... I mean, we can build a static grid. So it bumps into the static grid with a landing gear and then build a wind turbine. No, nah, I got it. Oh. Oh, whoops. That snapped to the wrong direction.
Okay, landing gear is locked. We just got to climb up there and put the wind turbine down there. Why? I was on there. Man. Really? Even I can do it with 200 ping. Yeah. Things get worse when we get close to each other. Oh, okay. I'll take the hints. I'll, uh, back off. <laughs> the storm is literally just gone. Yep. Ugh. I mean, that is how it is. Hey. <laughs> you almost hammered yourself. I did. <laughs> did indeed. Okay. So, back to making a battery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. That one has 12% remaining. He'll be scary. Oh, we really both. We really could do with piping between the rear trailer and the middle, even with small pipes, but we'd have to redo the hitch because I stupidly placed down a regular rotor. Uh, yeah. Oh, the fighter cockpit has a whole bunch of stone in it. Is that on purpose to try and counterweight it a bit? That as well. It was temporary storage and also counterweight. Makes sense. Um... Could I grab a little bit of silicon ore? I mean, you can, but we can't do anything with it. I know, but then we have it for when we can use it. I suppose for solar panels it might be useful. It's not the most useful of ores, though. No, but it'll be fine. Better than having to mine stone specifically for silicon. Because yeah, that I can would be see annoying. that happening in the future. Kentucky, how would a small grid landing gear on a piston make the large grid into a static grid? Unfortunately, that doesn't work. So, the reason I haven't been putting a, um, a turbine on top of the assembler is because it wouldn't actually help. What we need is the landing, the turbine to be on whatever grid has the landing gear. Has to be the same grid as it. Otherwise, the grid, the grid with the uh, turbine is not a static grid. Oh, have a good one, South Heaven. Hooray, we have enough stuff to make all of the parts for the next battery. Yes, wind turbines have to be on a static grid. Uh, okay. No, Rough Galaxy, it is very sensible, it is not silly at all. Because wind turbines on a mobile grid, with the way the wind turbine, with the way the game adjusts, like does things, 
uh, would be much more silly. If the landing gear is on a subgrid, the grid that you've got the turbine on is no longer a static grid because it's a subgrid, so it remains mobile, so the turbine doesn't work. Yeah, windmill on a car type stuff would be way too easy. Alrighty. Uh, we have a new battery. I'm packing up. Cool. Alright, I'm getting the driver's seat. Uh, yes, we are currently battery hopping. <laughs> that is true. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Do you need a hand getting out of there? I'll be okay. Not the first <laughs> hole I fall into. <laughs> Just don't drive backwards. Uh, Cassius, you're missing you're missing the issues. So as soon as so currently that grid is mobile. The only way to make the assembler static is to have a landing gear directly on that grid and locked to a voxel. As soon as you put the landing gear on any other subgrid, so through a piston, through a rotor, through a hinge. Uh, it's no longer, it's not static, it's making that subgrid that is on the other end of the piston rotor or hinge static. And that's where the problem comes in. That's why um, it has to be the weird way. No, no, all large grid doesn't matter, Cassius. It's not the grid size, it's the thing that's attached on the far end being a subgrid and therefore always being mobile. Uh, or leaving that bit mobile, in this case. Are you good, Shadow? Yep. I'm ready. Oh, hang on. I'm not sure our hitches are ready. Oh boy. Oh, yeah, That's I all. shall do some hydration. Uh, that is... Not locked. This hinge is on, it needs to go off. This hinge is on, it needs to go off. Also, I take it you haven't seen what I did to your cockpit? Nope, because I haven't been in first person in the cockpit. <laughs> okay. Uh, Unfortunate, but okay. Oh. That goes off. That is already off. I don't see it changed. I think we're ready to go. Yep. Just giving myself a message of motivation. Oh. You'll see when you check out oh. into my cockpit. Oh boy. <laughs> still snaking. I think it's the front wheels now. Uh, yeah, it does try to lean to one side, like usually the direction you've steered to. What the... I haven't steered. No? Yeah, I think we'll, we need to upgrade our front wheels to 5x5s. Oh. Or at least put them in line with the 5x5s by pushing them out. Oh, that will just look ridiculous now, won't it? It will. That's stupid. <laughs> so we think right now we're going down this bit. As soon as we start heading west, I know to just then go straight south and cross over. I think that's how we'll take this. Hmm. I can't take a sneak peek into your cockpit, unfortunately. No. Mm. You're just gonna have to wait to find out. Well, at least I do have a beautiful image to stare at as well. <laughs> yeah, I'll agree with that. 
Have you changed I what's on the TV yet? No, I haven't. Why did everything go dark? Everything stopped. Are we having power issues? No. No? No, if we were power having power issues, this hinge would go absolutely crazy. Um... I guess I, I can't think change like one of the screen. wheels is locked. Uh, let me check. Hmm, something weird's happening. I'm just trying to look at all the wheels and see if something weirds. Yeah, the the caravan left wheel has somehow locked itself. Um, and I think it's locked itself on the battery. Oh, probably. So I might grind that battery off. Yeah, I mean, it's empty anyway. Yeah. Oh. Let's see if that fixes it. So what did you do? All right, hop in. Have a look. Ah. <laughs> I see a very squished cafe. Yeah, there we yeah. go. We're all good. I'm in. I'm still following the edge of the biome. As long as I stay in the patchy area, it's all good. Hmm. I'm surprised you haven't suggested um, us skipping ahead through the night. I'm okay with nights, to be honest. Okay. As long as it's not bitch black, like the apple gum. Hey, rude. What? It's not pitch black, unless you play with um, the wrong mods. It was set up to be dark, but not pitch black. Fair uh, enough. Because it was set up for the wrong way up. But I do really like the Hubble gun. Brings a lot of color to the skybox. Yeah. Oh. We're doing the happy snake again. Yeah. If only we were backing our tail as well. Oh, we're doing the happy stomps. Uh. Okay, so as long as I'm going south, it's southish, it's fine. If I'm going east. Yeah, I will start a. So I'm still very near the. We're still very near the pole. Still got quite a ways to go. Ooh. It is quite menacing being inside of the caravan as you're <laughs> swerving around. Yeah. I can imagine so. Hard to fix a flying vehicle, Trevenator, when you don't have cobalt. Or power. Yeah. But mostly cobalt. Because you need um, cobalt for the grids that go into the thrusters. Yeah, there was no option to fix that fighter early on. We did get a decent number of grids out of it, but yeah, not really viable. We probably had enough that we could have done it. Okay, I can see orange Maybe? across, which means we probably want to just keep heading south and head straight across the sand to it. So I reckon we are now about here-ish. 
because we're seeing a oh here probably because we're heading we can see across to there. Let's have a look at the map while driving. That did not look okay. Um, since the gas giant is Bylan, um, I'm not sure if Captain Arthur has the fix for Bylan, but I can certainly implement the fix for Bylan that means that if we get too close, it'll just destroy us with its heavy gravity. Oh, High fun. Gravity. Yeah. Uh, because Nev created a rotor fix for it! Ow. You appear to be missing something. Yeah. That wasn't even aggressive driving. That was just the fishtailing getting out of hand. Oh. I am outside now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, what, what this doesn't like is these front wheels. Um, is part of our problem. Uh, because the when I steer from here, it does weird things to where our assembly line is. Um, so we just lost our assembler. Oh yeah. Uh, nothing we can't rebuild. Uh, well, I think our solar panel is damaged. I... Uh, that's so painful. Also, we now have a face on... Uh... Uh... I, know, I guess we do things differently this time. Uh, do we have a choice? No, we could do them exactly the same. Well, yes, we could do them exactly the same and see if uh, we're insane or if things do change if we try them exactly the same another time. Oh, that's what you broke. You broke the connector. Oh. Yeah, the spawns are broken. Some point transferring things to the server, we broke them. Yep. I'm just glad the TV is still in one piece. Okay. So, um... Thoughts? <laughs> um, maybe we should expand the caravan. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. If you have 8.2% charge, and this one has 27.3, um, what are you doing? Apparently nothing. Hmm. Well, there's your problem. I don't know why. I was trying to lift up the front end of the truck, but the hinge doesn't seem to be strong enough. Even at crazy strength. Reload? No. That's the fun of this. Being able to rebuild stuff. And, well, having to rebuild stuff. Okay, so thankfully we kept the wheels, which means we can extend off the back of the caravan, set, add an extra set of wheels to it, so that we can <laughs> build out that way a bit, I suppose. What are you chuckling hey, at? Splits, I have good news. What? Oh, five units of gravel survived. <laughs> right. <laughs> gravel. Yeah, I'm just scavenging for maybe an ingot here and there, but no. Just the gravel. I picked up the units. Ah, okay. It was the first thing what? I grabbed. Oh, you're gonna drop it onto the trailer once it's built, or? Uh, I was gonna gr probably grind them down, but we could drop the battery on. Yeah, the batteries still have a bit of charge. I'd rather not waste that. Yeah, true. 
True, true. Did the separate trailers because it seemed like a fun idea at the time, but it is causing, um, pain. Issues. <laughs> yes. Issues. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need to, um... Oh! Oh, drill some wait. Stone. Um... I see a bigger issue. Yeah, that's... I, I see that issue too. Uh, that's why we need these <laughs> extra wheels at the back. Right, okay. Because then the then the trailer won't be able to pitch with weight. Because if we have four wheels, it'll sit... should sit fairly level on the way, on those wheels. Should. Hope. Maybe. Perhaps. Yeah, I didn't want to mess with the caravan too much. I kind of liked the caravan as it was, but uh, don't really have an option now. I need to lift that high up. Yep, over. There. Oh, I see what you're doing. Also, it looks like a giant wheeled fish from here. <laughs> okay. Like, with the connector being the eye and the two um, wheels. Shadow, do you mind working on... Oh, actually, we don't have enough. Uh... Hmm. No, never mind. I was about to say, do you, do you want to work on getting the 5x5 five five wheels up front? But probably don't I do that do. until we do this. But, yeah, let's raise one thing into the air at a time. <laughs> okay, if you put it that way, yes. That makes sense. Oh no, I can't start preparing for it though. Seems to be very angry. <laughs> the the kind of cruel thing here is that we both knew that because we aren't playing with any like scrapyard type mods or anything like that, there was nothing that happened there that was unrecoverable. It was just pain to recover it. Yep. Which means I know it is a fun engineering challenge. Trying to fix these mistakes. <laughs> yeah, it often can be. And it is a core part of what is Space Engineers. But yeah, it's like, sure. it stops us from feeling okay about a reload. Like, if, if that was a complete wipe, then you're like, yeah, of course we got to reload. There's no op no option. Uh, I think if it were a complete wipe, I'd rather paste in a new grid. Oh, like restart from scratch. Yeah. Oh, like, wow. we have a penalty, but we also get stuff back. Interesting. And the most important thing we did was travel. Sure, we got some resources, True. but... Um, that is a very good point. The travel is the most valuable thing we've done. Yeah. I have thought of it that way. That's a very positive mindset. I like it. I tend not to get negative about these things, even if it is just for a bit, like... Sure, we lose some stuff, but we can recover. I'm so used to playing with Capac that I... 
I'm just not used to someone <laughs> else coming in with a with a positive mindset. Okay, there we go. Um, now we are going to have to build an assembler if you want to actually build those wheels, because we won't have enough. Um, oh, actually, we could steal some of the tubes from the front set of wheels on the trailer. Temporarily. Uh, if you build the assembler, I'll lay out the wheels. Uh, we're not going to have enough materials to build an assembler. Ew. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a little bit of an issue. No, my right wheel's the same. Oh, no, it is one out. No! Oh, poo. Thank you for telling me now. <laughs> it is a block out. I don't see which way I did it wrong. Ugh. Dumb, dumb. I mean, that's why you're here. To entertain. Entertain through my idiocy. Yeah, some days. Some days, I like to try and entertain through me doing clever things. Usually, that means I'm playing single player. Because I can be slow and cautious about stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see. I am dropping the thing, so be wary. Trying to cockpit. There we go. Oh no! <laughs> I can't place the block that I need to place while this stuff's hovering up in the air. Uh, it's the hinge puts it in the way. Get that hinge. Let's see if that lets me. Nope. Still can't place. I'll go and do some drilling. Oh. Nope, still can't place. Why did it let me do the other one? Um. Yeah, it's not. So it won't let me place any block in this space because they all take up the same volume. Uh, Even plates? We might have to do. Wait. Hang on a sec. Have a test. Aha! Wow, yeah, there is no stone here. Okay. Hey, Shadow. Yeah? Come up here. Where are you? We've got improvised experimentation on, so we could drop these batteries off and then manually manhandle them up there. Lift me up. Do it. I don't know if I can. Oh. Oh. Well, this is one way to scout. <laughs> Take back that steel plate. Uh, so yeah, if we grind these off, we detach them, we should be able to manually move them up. Hopefully. Also, what was the button for that again? Ah. Uh. All uh, right. Uh, do we have any power on the main grid at the moment? Mm, no, it's I don't think so. Do is it? Do it? Do is it? Do it? Do we do we do we do we do we do? Uh, a tiny bit. Maybe. <laughs> uh, do we have enough parts to make a couple of little mugs? Where can I do this? This will be safe-ish. 
safe it. I heard banging. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'm sure. I could possibly go okay. around. You do you. I'm just gonna mine some stuff. Okay. I'm just gonna try and attach this battery that I've ground off to the rover. Um, so that we've at least got one battery attached, and then I'll detach the other one, temporarily attach it as well. I was hoping to find some stone, but... Oh... Oh, that's you holding it. I was about to say, like, what am I seeing? <laughs> okay, I need to drop it. There we go. Battery attached. Nice. Temporary cargo on the side. That is quite the appendage. Yeah, it's very temporary. I'm Just honestly so. surprised you didn't just place another connector so we had a temporary storage on the side as well. Done that. Oh well. Oh well. Also, do you think we're ever going to redesign that vehicle, or I'm gonna stick with the uh, camper fan? Oh, camper uh, fan. I reckon once we find <laughs> like cobalt and we're actually establishing a base of operations. We'll do a bunch of stuff, but I don't know what we'll do at this stage. Okay. I don't have any particular plans in mind. I haven't thought that far ahead. Oh. It's way too far ahead to think. Yeah, I'm just thinking about well, stuff to do in the future as I mine this hole. Yeah, it's it's one of the things that always happens when you're stuck mining for ages. You like, what things am I gonna do next? And I. I am very guilty of thinking way too far ahead at those times. <laughs> I'm coming up with all sorts of grand plans and never coming up with it and then only completing about 2% of them. I was about to say two-thirds and I'm like, no, that's not realistic. 2%. <laughs> and then suddenly you have a giant beehive on the side of a hill that never got finished. That's going to sting you so, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I need to do it justice. Like, I need to do a proper rebuild as well, just to get it off of my conscience. Oh, hey, I found cookie dough. Alright. I have added the wheel back, and this time it is in the correct position. Yay. I don't believe you. It's like programming. When you think you did everything right, there has to be a bug somewhere. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, how long are we going for? Oh. At most 30? You're doing stuff with Capac still? Yeah, yeah. Capac will be joining me for some Icarus after this. Ah! Oh, poo. Getting in the door is now really difficult. Nah, it's fine. Hang on. There we go. That. 
Also, was that a pun with it going to sting me that I never finished it? Uh, I mean, it is a pun, but it was... I never do deliberate puns. Oh, it's inc incredibly mm. rare. Okay, I really can't do that. I have to go and buy the wheel, which is... No! No. Arg! I don't like this. So we have Better wheel right. here, and then you go like this. You're not that difficult, right? There's something I'm tempted to do. Retractable ramp. No, um... <laughs> if we end up needing more space soon, moving this front set of wheels on the trailer, further back. No. What do you mean, no? No. <laughs> We're not doing that. We just need to make the hitch differently onto the... onto the truck. And the truck just needs to have a, have a third set of wheels as well. Fine. Then why don't we do a complete rebuild? Resources? Uh. Oh, my lights are flickering now. What's going on there? Yeah, it's only enough at the survival kits. Yeah. It's real weird. When you look at the survival kit, the uh, lights flicker. Oh! Put the door I have around. found that freedom. Help. <laughs> I have found a window into freedom. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll come back for you. A little window to salvation. A small conveyor junction there. Okay, I must be going crazy. I see the sun. Yep. That's pretty normal. Uh so, Shadow. Yes. You can probably help with what I'm doing right now if you wanted to. Oh. Other than me just doing it all. What do you want me to do? Have a look inside. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, do you want to see if you can... So I should have carved out enough. I'd potentially get rid of the little cargo that's there that you're access using to access and... um. Yeah, I'm just wanting to pipe through to the back this time so that we can keep using the survival kit and not have to faff around with doing all of the manual transfers that we were doing before. Yep. Sounds like a plan. Because it means any drill we build will be able to work straight away. Yay! Hey, Eisen. Uh, one more of these and then we're good. I can build the medium cargo on there. So do you think this time I should... You, do you think we still go with the large cargo as well? Uh, Probably if we're going to do the drilling. Yeah, fair. Unfortunately, the large cargo is going to be behind our rear axle, which isn't ideal. Hmm. Yeah. What's on Shadow's head? Uh, a pair of horns. Oh, what's on your mind, huh? What? On my mind? Yes. That mind, same thing. <laughs> One is just contained within the other. Yep. Unless you're, uh... 
A bit too into Cartesian philosophy. Shouldn't be too bad, because we'll still have all this stuff up front. Let's make some of those. Um, so Shadow. Yeah. Just in terms of our tight resources, you might not want to use the armored ones to begin with. Okay. Because that means you're having to make steel plate for every single one. Yep, that is a fatal point. Did not think about that. Oh, what if I just? Oh. I mean, yeah, Magic. I could add. We could add another set of wheels behind that once we've got the assembler built. True. And then I can get rid of these front ones. And then Shadow can put her skid wheels on the front just as a safety thing. We need training wheels. I prefer skid wheels. <laughs> <laughs> okay, large cargo is complete enough. So once Shadow's got that connection complete, we can then just dump all the stone into can't go at the back. Alright. That's good. Now, next thing to do what? is what? put these batteries oh. on the side of that cargo container. Which I should be able to do even with the large cargo there. I probably have made my life more difficult than I needed to. I mean, that's your thing. Yep, valid. Uh, Chipsticks made her that skin. Much like Chipstick's main TFE TFE skin and Capac Capac skin. We do have the weld pad mod, but we're really tight on resources, so I want to use merge blocks to not consume anything on doing this. Uh, and because Aries of War makes everything really expensive <laughs> as well. Yep, it's uh, a whole lot of fun. You did I mean, not I... sound serious then. I mean, it's... <laughs> I really did set my own, myself up for this, huh? Mm -hmm. But I do enjoy Aries at War, but the early game is a bit of a hog right now. Well, only because we hard to get started. Crashed. Yeah, like, it is our own um, incompetence we... that has caused these issues. <laughs> to some extent, yes. Or our stubbornness? Oh, hey, hello, what are you doing there? A little bit of scrap metal. Floating around between the wheels. Alright, battery connected. But, while we have some difficulties, we have some benefits with stuff like improvised experimentation. Allowing us to do some things that we wouldn't otherwise be able to do. Just super handy. Low. Also, the connection should be formed now. Oh. Whoa. What was did whoa? you do? I disconnected the battery. Ah, that's what the sound was. <laughs> yeah, it got very loud. Like a madman. Yep. 
Figured you'd be upset if I did them lazily asymmetrically. Ah. Oh, I thought <laughs> I would do it properly. I do appreciate that. like about improvised experimentation is that you've got the stabilized control option so that you can actually um, spin things the correct way rather than just having to bump things. That was the really hard thing with the first versions of these mods was that you just couldn't move stuff to where you wanted it to go. It was all very awkward. Oh uh, yeah, so this, mm. this grid... Picking up of stuff is improvised experimentation. Did you, um... Oh, you took out the O2H2 gen to get the large steel tubes out of it. Nope, that was what blew up. Oh, is that... Would that get damaged as well? It blew up. Like, properly gone. So oh, I had you... to replace it. Oh, I see, I see. So I think we take out that... the... The components from the wheels at the front of the trailer and put them in the wheels at the front of the tractor. Yeah, probably a good idea. Ah, uh, but don't don't grind them off completely. Energy critical. Or do. Might be the worst thing in the world if we accidentally grind them off. Mm. I don't know. Uh, it it. it. What we've got will probably still work, even if we uh, get rid of that. Get rid of those wheels. Yeah, but it won't be very comfortable. Also, we do have some extra steel plates, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So. Hooray! Now, do you want to hop in and we'll see if this thing drives okay before we do too much else to it? Uh, let me just quickly weld up something so it can withstand a bit more. <laughs> just in case. Alright. Well, I'm sorry for being cautious. <laughs> uh, you're hearing the survival kit. That's what you're hearing. Yep. When you're hearing an assembly sound, you're on board. Yep. I did not do any wheel settings on the front wheels, by the way, so... Yeah, something's still funky with the hinge. Why? This one. No, it's inside the limits. It feels like the hinge isn't moving freely. That's off, that's off, that's... They're all off. And there's no braking torque on any <gasps> of them. Hmm. Ugly ice on his back. I wonder if it's these wheels dragging a bit. Might be. I didn't think that was supposed to provide any friction, but maybe they'd provide a little bit. Blessed be the goofy eye sun, for it shall bring us salvation. <laughs> sure. Okay. There's a there's a desire for this thing to turn left. I mean, right? <laughs> <laughs> this thing wants to turn, but otherwise, at least it's not tail wagging the dog. Ridiculousness. And yes, it'll be nice when we can get those wheels built up, because I think... I think we actually want to get rid of those wheels, Shadow. Why? Because uh, I think they're going to make this thing not drive well. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Something we can do. Uh, okay, yep. It's a good way to test. Although the strength on the back wheels are a little bit worrisome, but... Oh, that handles so much better. Yeah, we should lose those wheels. Okay. 
let's just keep him as spare wheels for now. Sure. Just in case, you know? <laughs> yeah, the right rear wheel is doing odd things, but that could also be just the rate at which it's spinning. Uh, matching up with the frames per second that the rendering is at. But this drives so much better. <laughs> Good. Good. So where are we? We're probably somewhere here now and we're going to start going across that gap. Then we've got to get through all this rough rubbish and get around to the cobalt. It's not very here. nice. What? I'm talking about terrain. <laughs> Still not very nice to say to terrain. If terrain had feelings, it'd be rough. If terrain had feelings, we'd be upside down right now. We were upside down, so maybe it does. Can we process okay, the cobalt point. right now? No. When we get there, we can mine enough dirt that yes, we can. No, because we'll probably... I imagine when we get to the cobalt, we'll probably just make a static facility there. Yeah, I was about to say, like, maybe make an outpost there so we can set up a stone mining drill rig as well. Yeah. I think that makes a lot of sense. The main reason we weren't doing that up until this point was because we didn't want to set up a static base hundreds of kilometers from the nearest nearest resource that we actually need. So we were just being stubborn. Yeah. But also... Also, I'll rename the extra wheels. Degree of logic to it as well. I mean, we can always keep those side wheels as spare wheels. Uh, we could use them... I, I reckon leave them. Because we... Oh, actually, the reason I want to get rid of them is because it makes it harder to get in that door. Yeah, fair. I think potentially um, we just want pistons at the front of the caravan to put us up on shocks when we need to stop and lift it up. Yeah. Also, rip the fuel from inside the caravan. <laughs> the fuel oh. out back isn't the prettiest anymore. Oh, yeah. Ah, it's fine. When and if we do a redesign of this setup, we'll make it work. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's hot. Ooh. Careful. I'm trying to be. Oh, what's that? There's a thing. Ooh. We found a thing. Is the thing going to shoot at us? One way to find out. Um... Yeah, we stop and we go in on foot. Or well, we wait 15 minutes and have Capac join so we have a meat shield. <laughs> Alright, let's let's go in on foot. I lost my gun. I, put it in. I still have mine, so... You are the meat shield. No, you're the meat shield. You've got a gun. Yeah, so you run in first, see if there's danger, and then I shoot at whatever is shooting you. that you're right. <laughs> oh, man. Serpentine, serpentine. <laughs> Also, this is a gorgeous view. Looks a little different on my end. A little bit more detailed, I'd imagine. Uh, well, yeah, the, the post-processing effects are in front of the planets, so they're not just dark blotches. They stand out a lot more on your end. Yeah. 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 Oh, well. It's still beautiful on your end, though. True. 
bit a bit more muted though. I'm just glad we don't have super uber bright um, sky of bottom going on. <laughs> oh, it's a wreck. We have found a wreck. We found resources, Shadow. Oh, we're rich. <laughs> There's so many resources on this compared to what we've had so far. But now the problem is, are we going to salvage this and take it with us and risk not losing it all again? Or is this going to be our base? Salvage! Salvage! Okay, salvage it is. Oh, hey. Oh, so many metal grids. And that's one way to use a uh, hydrogen thruster, I suppose. Ah! Also, this thing is upside down. Yeah, I was about to say, like, it seems to be very, uh... Well, if you look at the front... Hey! <laughs> okay. Am I wrong? Well, um... I guess we go back, get the truck, and, um... We can use the many hundreds of steel plate here to build up our assembler and refinery super quick. Yeah. Nice. Uh, should I start... Digging some stuff out, maybe. Sure, if you want to. Uh, do we want to see if we... Uh, do we want to try and make our RV into a larger grid? Yes. Is it too soon to do that? Yes, but I want to. Um, <laughs> uh, hmm. How are we going to take enough of this for it to be worth our while? What do you mean? So, we want to we want to set up our base where cobalt is, or where magnesium is, because mm -hmm. uh, potentially where magnesium is, because we've just found what seven eight hundred steel grid, a metal grid. Uh, so we don't really need a lot of cobalt at this point. Mhm. Mm it's true. How many are in each of those large thrusters? Is it 250 in all of them? 150. So we've got a thousand. We've got a thousand metal grids. Seems like it, yeah. So we won't need much for a while. Hmm. Seems like setting up on a magnesium deposit is our better option. Which means... Yep. Oh, and the magnesium's near, the, near an ice lake too. Okay. Oh yeah, we're going to the magnesium. And also we don't have to... Oh, well, we can have multiple outposts. And we don't have to stick to a main base, like we can just make oh, yeah, a mining I'm just outpost more somewhere in... Where we stuff. pick as a main base and then we... You can build mining outposts at each of the locations. That's yeah, yeah. I yeah. Mean. Okay, whoa! Ow. Oh, wait, huh? Hmm. I'm confusing myself. Sounds like it. Let's have down a control panel and see what the ship's made up of. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Also, I think I might see the reason why the ship crashed. It's upside down? There's the no hydrogen thrusters are not connecting, yeah, to anything, yeah. Well, I imagine <laughs> there might have been tanks in the middle of here, but someone's already taken the bits. It looks yeah, like it's been maybe. here a while. It has an intact antenna, though. The Hermes 1. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice not Does to have, have to power? drill for steel plates. That's the man who hasn't been doing a lot of drilling. Yeah. It's almost like I care about what you're having to spend your time doing. How oh, flattering. <laughs> Make it out like I'm being mean and I'm actually being nice. Rude. <laughs> But 
I am curious to see this person next to the hallway. Okay, so. Oh, there are some hydrogen tanks underground. Eight of them. There are some ion thrusters underground. And there is a laser antenna underground. Well, that just seems like a design flaw. There's a lot here. Like, a lot, a lot. Okay, then I do have a suggestion. We make a little outpost here, so yep. we can make a large grid rover. Because we have the resources to make a large grid rover with these things here. We do, we do. Um, and we also and are going to have to spend a lot of time excavating this thing, so we're probably going to need to make some sort of flying uh, mining vehicle. Yeah, definitely. Which, so what I thought I would do, instead of starting off this wonky grid, I'll start a fresh grid as our base. Yes, please. Uh, right nearby so that we can use it. Oh, you start building and I'll start salvaging, I suppose. Cool. Well, I'll do. Oh, I found an ion thruster. Oh, good. And another one. Means we can make fancy tool. Ooh, yeah, actually, good point. I would love a fancy tool. Although we need an assembler first. Yep. Which we should be able to make. Well, yes, we will. Uh, I was going to make it inside, though. Like, I'm going to lay inside? out a bit of a basic plan for the base. Ah. And then we can go from there. So it is going to be a construction thing and not something we convert into a... Rover. Yeah, yeah, I think make a little <laughs> proper base of operations here. Sounds good. going to lay out basically a whole lot of scaffolding that might eventually get built at some point eventually. Ion ions do not have greater thrust than hydrogen. Hydrogen has the most thrust per block. Wait, uh, huh? But ions can convert uranium into thrust. Hydrogen can't. or solar power into thrust. Depending on your preference. Also, let me know which parts you need, and I'll go and focus on those. Um, sure. I'll put down... I guess we pro I probably want to figure out where I'm going to put some wind turbines down because that's what we want to start with. Oh, yeah, power. Yeah. Of course. I'm just making a bit of a space that'll be a garage for the rover as well. Oh, that's what you're doing. Yeah, I was wondering what you were doing. Also, head out, brainwasher. And yeah, Space Engineers has really evolved over the years. Oops. Okay, that could work a bit better than having this. Yeah. So the ions are on that... This wreck has a whole bunch of ions. It has a whole bunch of everything, apparently. We got incredibly lucky with what we found as our first wreck. Mm -hmm. After the fighter. But I wonder if this was, like, a static encounter. 
Well, I'm also That's wondering if spawn. maybe the eligible spawns have changed because maybe I did break things with the timer and now we do have eligible spawns. No, hasn't changed. Maybe. Oh. Okay. We probably don't want to build a large, large cargo first, but I just wanted to place it there. In fact, do I want it there? No. Indecision. I know, I know. It's so weird laying out a whole base to, like, to begin with. And trying to have it look, trying to think of ways to sort of make sure it looks interesting once it's finished. Yeah, I reckon this is supposed I to be something will... you find later. What was that, sorry? The thing I usually do is make a little command center and put all my... I'll start a production in there, and once I need to branch out a bit more, I just expand from there. Yeah, I wanted to kind of start from a plan, which is very different for me. <laughs> yeah. Planning? What's planning? Plans. Okay. So, uh, wind turbines. If I build some sort of power line type thing, we can have a couple of towers that I can add on to over time. Let's just use this as the power line for now. Oh no, that was terrible. Um, do. -do, -do. Oh no, that doesn't work either. Oh, uh, or does it? Does that have the attachment points that I need for this? No, it does not. I wonder who's gonna finish first me salvaging this wreck or you laying down the base? <laughs> yes. Uh, I think we know all too well what the case is going to be there. Oh! I found more ship here. And another large hydrogen thruster. Cool. That must be the back end of the ship. Or oh, front end. No, that is the back end because of the bridge. Alright, now we have the fun of building scaffolding to climb up. So that we can build the wind turbines at an elevated position. Wait a minute, did the ship have batteries? Uh, I didn't see any. Mm. Energy low. Otherwise, we could just leech a little bit of power from this thing, yeah. which we still can do. We add a few wind turbines to it. But... Well, I mean, I'm, mm. I've got a position for a wind turbine going up right now. Yeah. Hydrogen tank. Well, that's just. Uh, has it got a decent it's number of steel tubes in it? It has 80 large steel, yeah. Cool. That's what we were after. Then we don't need the assembler up immediately. Nope. That's one of I'll the I'll make sure I need. get the things out before I start dr drilling more. Or damage it. Okay, how tall do we want this turbine to be? How much do we uh, 
force ourselves to climb. Uh, I want to say 10. Oof, really? <laughs> you asked. I mean, 8 should be enough. And that's currently yeah, 6. Yeah, 8 should work. Just do whatever you feel comfortable with. Ah, it's so handy having these stairs here for interior plate and construction components. Oh, I'm waiting for one of us to fall off this. I mean, you're probably gonna survive. Oh, I just walked over an empty gap and didn't fall. That was lucky. So tempted. Oh, so, so tempted. I'm changing my layout. So fragile. Oh. Hey, really? Energy okay. critical. Uh, I was lagging off and then getting back on. And then lagging off ah. and then getting back on. And then lagging off and then getting back on. <laughs> the joys of server. Oh, well, latency. General. The thing I'm looking forward to with um, no jetpack here is there are two of us, which means there are some options of ways to build that weren't available to me in Survival Impossible. Uh oh i.e. one of us are driving the platform and the other one building from it. How, oh, How tall I am see. I now? How tall is my tower? I can't really see from uh, up here. From what do you want to know? The power line? Or just from the ground? Just from the ground. Ten. I'm ten? I oh. think so. Unless I right. miscounted, but I'm pretty sure that's ten. What I need to do then... Standing on each other's heads. Oh, uh, that used to be a thing in Space Engineers. Oh, you just slide off, unfortunately. It's my favorite thing to do. Uh -huh. Also, it is so weird seeing my own shadow. No energy. Oh no! Uh, why, why am I dying with uh, no energy? Uh, because Inferno? Oh, oh right. Uh. <laughs> Ah. 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 So apparently our no suits do provide some degree of cooling then? I take it? I mean apparently. <laughs> I mean we are still wearing a uniform, I suppose? Which might have a bit of technology yeah, in it. Might have something. You just don't have a helmet or a tank. Well, well one won't function without the other, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. Oh, oh, please don't fall. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I can place this room on the ground. Can it let me? No. No, it is not. Uh, but... Place... Oh. Found enough for ion. Oh yeah, that works. We have six thruster components now. <gasps> Ow! <laughs> Jesus! Don't scare me like that! I just jumped off the thing! I scared myself! <laughs> I 
trying to just jump over the railing and I jumped off the whole thing. Twice. Please go and heal yourself. No. Could be right. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay. Oh, well, at least it's yep. off my conscience because I warned you. True. True, true, true. All this so that I have enough room that I can actually place the thing. Now, can I get rid of that other steel plate? I think we're gonna have to do it this way. Mm. Oh, that is not the correct key to press. Okay. Wind turbine placed. I suddenly hear the base powering up. No. It's only placed, it's not built. Then what did I hear? Oh. <gasps> well, that was like <laughs> Did you just <laughs> I did them things. Some things may have happened. Nothing to worry about. I don't believe you. You must believe, Shadow, you must believe! Did you grind off a block? I did. I was standing on it. Okay. Also, let me bring up the parts for the thing. Okay. Shall I start building another tower? You can you can weld it up, I'll construct the tower. One of these things will end up being deadly. I need a singular girder. Girder. Oh, but it's all vertical windows. Well the bridge isn't there at least. Oh. Oh, girders. Tower. Hello, Dark Racer. Welcome to Shenanigans. <laughs> yep, that is accurate. Okay, one wind turbine. Turbine? Yep, turbine. Yeah. How much is it produced? Um, I don't think you want to know. No, uh, just tell me. Fifty-one kilowatts. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, solar tower? <laughs> uh, maybe. Although, I think during the storms we're probably going to end up with a lot more power. From I these. mean, we can... So, we don't have to make a very vertical solar tower. Oh yeah, we could just place some flat stuff. We can make solar fields. Yeah, true. Since we are on a relatively flat surface. Oh, true. I'll get this second turbine tower up anyway, um, since I've started it. And at least yep. this gives us some base load power, because the solar obviously at night, we're not getting anything. We can at least power our lights. Yes. Because this isn't going to be enough to, like, even with two of these we're not going to be able to power anything useful. Mm-hmm. We may end up having to steal a battery off the truck or plug in the truck in order to be able to power the assembler. Yeah. Wouldn't be a horrible idea. And that way we can just share power as well, so if we do have a surplus of power eventually we can charge the rover. Am I the same height as the other tower or am I one block lower? Uh... Oh, can't tell from here. Or at least can't tell confidently. You are one lower. I'm one lower. So this one's the same height? Yep. Cool. I'm doing 
things and easy this time. So, what setting changed? Oh no! Oh no! All the way down. Oh good. If you say so. I do. We have an old window. Hello. There are a lot of things I should have known better about Dragon. <laughs> a lot of things. Haste makes Mine's waste. Like there we go. Another wind turbine ready to go. Yep. Ah, Built up. Yep. What's all this then? How's it going, Kavik? I see you managed to crash another spaceship. No, that wasn't us. I've crashed the rover a couple of times, though. Mm, likely believe story. Him. Totally crashed Don't the swing. Believe me that I crashed the rover. Well, you didn't necessarily crash it more than flipped it a few times in the air. Well, yeah, that that did happen. That does happen spectacularly. <laughs> it is a thing. Um, uh, right. What is on my shopping list right now? Orders and girders. So, come back. Do you want to join us for a bit? Yeah. What on earth are you even doing? Ari's at war scenario. We are currently scrapping a, well, salvaging a ship to use its components for doing stuff. Okay. Um, I have died once. Shadow has died once. Both times were probably my responsibility. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds pretty standard. I squished myself with a rotor head. Good job. Which arguably sounds less standard. So what's what's the deal? The deal with Arrows of War is the factions here will adapt and gain or lose power as you attack and destroy their stuff. So if you destroy a faction's stuff, another faction will fill that hole and gain power uh, across the three main planets that are here. How's our power situation actually looking on the rover? Probably not great. Uh, did you send him the IP and password splits? Oh, no, I haven't. Uh, yeah, that will um, limit things I'll, somewhat. I can do it as well. Have you found anything on here with computers in it? Uh, no, actually. Mm. Yeah, I think we're going to have to manufacture them ourselves. Uh, do this doesn't appear to be owned by a faction, this ship. Uh, should we take control of the thing, actually? We it's not owned may by already anyone. have done so. Oh, I'm not sure. Well, good job. <laughs> yeah, ten motors, ten computers, and then for this, gonna need a bunch of other stuff. Well, hello, big Tetris L ship. It was a necessary evil. Uh, but, um, yeah, it was a necessary evil. It'll be fine. Mm hmm. Basically, we should probably be able, we'll be able to actually mine some, some of this stone to produce some components because we're going to need to do that. Yeah, we are missing some of the basic ones. 
And I wanted to make that possible without needing to uh, use the survival kit to do all the refining. Because it's a bit slow. Only a little bit. Have you been um, putting the extra components into the cargo of the rover? Yep. Cool. Right, I'll see what you've picked up and see what else I need to manufacture and then get these things built. Oh, I should start making computers already because it's going to take forever for the survival kit to make 160 computers. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm currently just trying to find the edges of the ship so I can work inwards. Uh, smart. I try to be. Oh, ion thruster. Oh, but no thruster components. Uh, any motors? Nope. No. Also, ion thrusters don't have components, but this one has 11 thruster components. Or... Uh, okay. Something. Yeah. Uh, uh yeah. Two. We're out of, um... Iron, so we need to mine some stone. Or deconstruct some steel plate. Can't de deconstruct in a... Well, oh, right. Yeah. I'll help you out. I guess we might as well mine around the ship where we are. Whoops. Maybe we don't mine too close the, to the ship. Would you... <laughs> one... Dig... You, could you stop? <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Oh. Uh, factions... Two... There you go, come back. You should be able to spawn with us. Oh, wait. We're going to have to... We're gonna have to give Capac a suit. Yep. Uh, which means we need some creative mode briefly. Oh, he's cheating! He's cheating! What are you talking about a suit? We're playing with no suit. Oh. Uh. Do you need a med, med bay? Once you load in. Just quickly place one on the ship. Oh, I just placed a. I placed the welcome center. Capac can go over there ah. and change to. No suit space engineer. No, no, no. It was the armor around the tank that I was drilling and destroying. It wasn't the tank itself. That's why you can still see the tank. That's why it is still there. I mean, you do damage the tank with that as well. Yeah, probably. Uh, why am I dying from uh, no press oxygen? Press J and open your helmet. Open your face. Yes, open your face. Ow. Right. You good? <laughs> what? Did you just drill me? No. Are you healthy? Uh, I guess. Most fiends. Okay, done. Our Capac joins us for the caravanning trip. Hmm. Is that going to be our challenge? Keep Capac alive as we uh, travel everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that will be a challenge. Oh, there's more stuff underground. Yeah, there's quite a lot. At the moment, we're trying to collect a bit of stone so that we can um, build the computers that we need and the motors that we need for a few things. All that's missing now is TFE. Well, also, then it'll be Nev and then... I do hope after Station Ears that we'll be able to get that crew of five together for some Space Engineers as well. And I do want to request a similar situation with this server. Oh right, something that's kind of in between. Yeah. 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 I think that's reasonable. Ah, yeah. 
that's starting. Oh, I need to really put away my rifle. Oh, oh, uh, the what? cargo is full. Oh, is it? Yeah, I oh. cannot put anything in anymore. Oh, that's, um, that's a problem. Run, Pebble, run! Run for your life and... Oh? Oh. Well, once we get ten motors built, I can finish the refinery and then we can move a lot of the stone into the refinery instead, which will process it much more quickly. Yep. Oh boy, that's so... Uh, Wasted and I have talked about doing some more Space Engineers together, we just um, need to actually make some time to do it. Time? What is time? Uh, it's Wibbly. Ah. Uh, and it always sneaks up lot. on you. Oh, I want this refinery. So my plan at the moment, Shadow, and to come back, I suppose, you want to probably hear this too, is to build up this basic refinery, then build this assembler, then use the combination of those two to build a battery on the base, and then move the those two over to the base. Yep, sounds like a plan. Just need seven motors and it takes so long. Motor. Um... No, sadly, no motors in anything that we've found. I'll have another look at the... Yeah, I'm looking for conveyors, but I haven't found any yet. Yeah, I'm suspicious... Ow. <laughs> ...that this thing is devoid of all motors. Yeah. Intentionally. I found some computers. You did? Yeah, there's an antenna sticking up over here. It's got some antennas in it. Okay, how many? If get as collect as many of those as you can, put Got them into eight. the assembler. Yeah, that's something. Yeah, the connector does have a small amount of motors in it, but it's, it is being used. <laughs> I could temporarily get rid of it, just to try and optimize some things, but... Oh, you really bad, desperate? Sometimes. Fair enough. But then is it desperation or impatience? Uh, both. Definitely both. Whoa! Shadow, <laughs> that was you! That wasn't me. Sorry, I found some scaffolding. Apparently so. Three motors to go. Oh, my lights are not turning on. Oh, uh, Omentep, for the command to work, you need to just type in just the command rather than if, if you ever see in my titles an exclamation and then something, it's a chat command for the bot. Yeah, I don't really want to start ripping stuff out of too many things just yet. Oh, wait, no. Oh, one motor to go. Uh, one motor. I thought that was a handprint. Then we need a hundred and fifty ish computers. Oh. 
No, we're not restoring the ship. Excavating that ship is gonna be a pain in the... No, well, behind. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, do we have enough materials to make these yeah. boats? What do we need more of? Oh, yeah. I uh, shall do a hydration. Enough. All right. This refinery doesn't really need to run anymore. So I might just stop it. The refinery? Yeah, oh, I made a one. basic refinery and it's gotten enough from the little bit that it's processed already. It's gotten enough stuff. Ow. What do you do? Why do I keep taking damage when I try to recharge? Huh? Uh, that is a very good question. Hasn't happened to either of us. I use a survival kit, I start going, ugh, 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 and my screen goes all red. Huh. Works fine for both of us. Did, yeah. did it start working fine after that? Oh, oh, ah, uh, it eventually ah. healed me all the way up. Okay. Maybe it was pain, playing the pain sounds as you gained health. Uh, yeah, it seems like it's doing something like that. Huh. Weird. Oh. oh. Functional ion thrusters. AKA 80 thruster components each. Right, so we're really not going to be worrying about making anything. Like, we, we've got so much eye on it's ridiculous. That's what you're telling me. Yeah. Okay. That's. Considering this is a combat scenario, I guess that's fine. Need more nickel. Just more nickel. And we already have a self imposed challenge as well, so. True. Uh, need more storage. Yeah, we do. Oh. Uh, please don't put scrap in the basic refinery. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, can you, can, if anyone has any stone, can you put that in the basic refinery? Uh, I don't have any stone in my inventory is full, unfortunately. Because we need nickel. And that's going to be the best way to get nickel. It's 60 odd nickel. The reason no scrap in the basic refinery is all it produces is iron and we've got tons of iron and I need nickel right now, not iron. Um, and all the scrap processing is doing is cutting into our power situation, which is tight. That is a good point. We have 185, 81 kilowatt hours left of battery. Can't deconstruct stuff, Mavalite, because we don't have an assembler. You can only deconstruct an assembler. Survival kits don't do that, as you can see. No option. Wait, there's a ton of nickel in the medium cargo container? What? I'm not sure how piping works, Shadow. Huh? Oh wait, no, may no, I know what's going on. The survival kit's just not grabbed it. For some reason. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's confusing. It immediately blames me. I see how it is. What? I suppose that was blaming you, but it wasn't intended to. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I know from the inhale that that was Shadow doing that. Ah, uh, no. What makes you say that? <laughs> uh -huh. It's just that when something blows up in your face with a loud noise, it, it spooks me. Yeah, you get used to it after a while. 
He's not wrong. Worrying. Um, yeah, I suppose we could theoretically take one of the batteries off and then manhandle it onto a rotor that's got a small grid attachment. Um, but my worry is where I've stuck these, getting them out of there without breaking them is going to be iffy. Okay, motor's almost made. There we go. Just gonna place two scaffolding blocks here because I found a yeah another functional ion thruster. One hundred percent. We really Kapak, need that cargo space on the ground. Yep. Uh, Kapak, they will eventually get delete it. get deleted. Okay, well, when you build somewhere else for me to put them in, I'll put them in that. Okay, Shadow, we're just waiting on the computers now. Good. I don't know if I can stay sane much longer. <laughs> just 120 computers for the basic survival kit to make. Oh. Yep. So, oh, probably. probably should have encouraged Capac to mainly focus on stuff that could be welded up on the base that we I'd started laying out. What? You mean oh, exactly you can... what I'm already doing? Well, you're getting large steel tubes from somewhere. Yeah, from the antenna, because you wanted the computers. Oh, is that where it came from? I thought yep. you'd gone and then ground down some tanks or something. I can start welding up a bit of the scaffolding uh, to get rid of the steel plate. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea to clear out some cargo with that. But just put it into the, the base blocks. Yeah, that's exactly what Shadow was meaning. I thought she meant the mining hole scaffolding that keeps exploding. Oh. <laughs> It would be nice to have that welded up a bit as well, so it doesn't explode, but yeah. Nice uh. and Oops, wrong piece. I don't know why I get spooked so easily with those things. Well, I'm not sure I can say much more with my reaction to me falling off the, the ladder earlier. <laughs> oh, tier 1 welders suck. Well, we can get a lead soon, so. We can indeed, thankfully. Though I am going to build the battery on the bases first priority. Is there anything on that that's got silver in and components? So we could build a med bay. Um or even another survival kit. I don't think there is. That is a very good question. We'd need a we need to find a gravity gen. Which I didn't see one, but I didn't specifically look at look for it. going. Four to go. How is the battery situation going? Down to 154 kilowatt hours of power. Um, platinum and gold is what uh, the thruster components are made from. Don't think there's silver in them. 
I think silver is only used in medical components, so... And reactor. And gravity. And gravity. It's those three. Why are all those antenna components not stacked? Because um, Campac doesn't use build build planner. That is not the reason at all. Then can you explain why? It's because the container was full, so I had to take out plates and put in a radio component, then take out plates and put in a radio component, then take out plates. And I couldn't be bothered okay. stacking them because it was funnier to leave them individually. There we go. There's your reason. Does my pain amuse you, Capo? Yes. Okay. Took him. Took you a while to decide there, Capac. Were you deciding about whether <laughs> shadows pain amuse you or whether you were just doing it to pain me? I find many things amusing. It's true. Oof. Feels ever so slightly less painful if you weld together, doesn't it? Yep. Energy low. <laughs> <laughs> It's the taste of the elite welder. This is how it could be. <laughs> yep. So soon! The little guy watching, can you say hi to Bean? Hello Bean, how you doing? Hello. Uh, Icarus uh, was the plan after this. Sorry, I was reading chat and I got sidetracked. <laughs> or at least that was the plan, unless... Well, it's all it, it'd all be up to how long Shadow would really want to play for, and I it is getting very late over there. You mean early? Uh, that too. Perspective. Yeah, it, it is three a.m. right now, but yeah, I'm okay to keep going a little bit longer. And if you guys want to continue without me, then feel free. No, I wouldn't do that. We got some castles shenanigans. Oh, yeah, I shall do some hydration. Uh oh. I did a dump. I got some parts that I can't drop. I can do. Ah, oh, three computers to go! Alright, here we are. So close yet <sighs> so far. Three computers. Done. Assembler built. Alright, now. Power cells. Grab all of the ingots out of here. Turn off the survival kit from doing anything. Uh, I think we do have enough stuff to make a cargo container. I'll be the small one, but... Minus the computers. Right, but it only takes two. Oh yeah. Cool. And we had enough to make 20 power cells. I don't know if we've got enough for 80. Hmm. Oh, we do. We do have enough resources for 80. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, plus 25 computers. Energy critical. I think everything else we should be able to get from the wreck. Hopefully. Uh, can we dump our components in the assembler or would you rather not? Uh, probably best not, because if you block it, okay. then it'll stop producing. But if you decide to mine some stone, you can put it in the... Oh, actually, probably don't do that either. I don't want to use the power unnecessarily. Ugh. This power situation being so tight. It's so bad. Yep. If anything, we need to see if we can hook up the thing to the base. Oh, 
I'll be temporarily. Ah, that'll be fine. Because if we can get this battery built on the base, then we can sort it out when we're ready to sort it out. Okay. This will be our first battery. Some construction components, which you delivered most of. Thanks, Capac. Somehow we just have enough parts. It's great. <clears throat> oh, not again. What happened? Keep falling through the same hole in the floor there. Oh, uh, yep. In there. The impression that some of the settings for the refineries might be set to realistic. Oh, I see what you I were mean... waiting for, Dragnon. Dragnon has made a request for a lasso. Oh no! I should oh, really get my... on and edit that one that I that we've already recorded. The test unit. <laughs> and record three more. Yeah. Dragnon, let me know which game you wanted in. Well, I wish you two luck. Yeah. Yeah, I have to get in touch with Gear Seeker about what he wants for his one. Uh, games that we play, TFE. Games that we play. Alas, so is a custom video just for the person who redeemed it. You Sorry. and your noises! <laughs> Come on, make me the star already. Ugh, gonna want so many speed modules on our refiner on our assembler. How about efficiency first? No. There's more power production. Hmm. Well, now that we've sort of established a base, what I was thinking we could do um, going forward is keep this as our as an established base, but I can go, like, build up a rover that's got cargo, try and collect some ice and come back here. One of us can go off and get cobalt, magnesium, gold. So we can kind of at least do things that way until we um, establish proper outposts at each of those to make it easier. Yeah, and for the outposts, I have been thinking, like, would that be a good application of the AI blocks? What are you thinking? Automatic transport back and forth with drones? Um, as long as there's nothing hostile in between, yeah, definitely. Ooh. In fact, I'm kind of excited about that prospect because I've never done that, and I really want to do it. Yeah, the only ways I've done that were with scripts, and I'm excited to see how it would play out with vanilla. Well, I say and I've never done it. Maybe easier to use. I did it for my tutorials, but well, um, I've yeah, never done it in game. So yeah, I'm the same as you. I've, I just, it, it's nice to have a reason to do it. Yeah. Reasons. Blech. Reasons. Reasons, exactly. Many reasons to do it. Um, so... Reasons just make here. things worse.
Hmm. What else? Can I grab some things? They are. And we're, that's where, put, where we can put the assembler. So weld these up or yeah. are you still trying stuff? Yeah, no, no, weld all that up. Um, and I was just going to put now down we'll a ba the basic bones. assembler for basic refinery for now, uh, followed by plans around for a proper refinery in a bit. Since it's only stone we're going to be doing around here. And then once we got that, we can set up a bit of a mining rig so that we can get basic resources. It's going well. I am so excited to continue this as well. <laughs> Me too. It's been a long time coming for us two to play some survival space engineers together. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. I'm glad we started with a whole bunch of other games first. Like... The fact that kind of the first game we played just like together was fight up. <laughs> oh jeez, yeah, those shenanigans. <laughs> and also the absolute awkwardness that was me as well. Ah, you were fine. We need to play some more mm -hmm. fight up. I've added a bunch of stuff. I have. I mean, I did get a new controller, so I'm done. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, we should probably complete the second wind turbine. Nah, it also only needs two motors, so actually very easy to do. Okay, I will do that. Need small steel tubes, four motors, and stuff. Uh, am I okay to queue up some stuff for the small cargo? Uh, no. I think we should grind okay. down what we've got and move it across there. And build it on the base instead. Because then we're using the base power that is currently regenerating. So, has some added benefits. Ah, okay, no, I see what you mean. So, yeah, I'd, so start I'd grab clearing it. down the assembler. Yeah, just make sure that you've collected all the ingots before you do that. Because it does have stuff in its inventory. What? Did I just order up those motors and not actually bring them? I'm an idiot. Yes, you did. Are you doing them? Yep, yeah, hang on. Oh. There you go. Thank you. Uh, the, rover panel, the rover does have a solar panel on top. Uh, we will almost certainly start building some solar arrays soon. Yeah. The wind turbines just have that advantage of oh, nice. oh. Sorry, Shadow, I didn't mean to talk over you. What were you saying? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I Agreement. don't remember. <laughs> I was saying something, but... Alright, construction ship. Like, we can have a little construction ship, like you said earlier. So we can actually get those solar panels up and running as well. Yeah. Having some little flyer that one of us can pilot and the other one can build from will probably work quite well. So there's nothing wrong with an even base reaper. Where's even? I don't see even. <coughs> oh. Ow. So control G from a cockpit kind of works, but also kind of doesn't. The reason uh, I say it doesn't work is that you can't then remove the thing you placed. Not easily, and it does have some other quirks of it as well, which I have experienced before, yeah, where there, there you can only bugs. travel a certain amount of distance from where you entered your cockpit for the ghost to show up where you want to place stuff. Oh, so and it's like spectator. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, subgrids are also not... Um, Support it? <laughs> yeah, it's... Like... Sorry, Plus, you know, we're playing co-op. What's the harm in doing something cooperatively instead? Yeah, exactly. That's my perspective on that. Well, the possibility of you throwing me off of something. Yeah, it's kind of funny. On quote-unquote accident. <laughs>
But we do have the benefit of being in a breathable atmosphere rather than Mars. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> we were talking about, like, we were thinking on that side of things, and if you've got no suit and a non breathable atmosphere, uh, that's not really a stream series, that's an edited series. Yeah. Uh, you, you really just can't justify making something that slow as a stream series. Uh, so Shadow, I was going to try and build the two that are connecting the refinery and the assembler first. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. Of course. <laughs> Sorry. It's annoying that the player model is just too wide for two people to pass on a stair like that. Yeah. A little bit. You're saying the player models need to go on a diet? Yeah, something like that. Probably right. surgery because it's the shoulders that are the problem. <laughs> mm, shoulder reduction surgery. <laughs> Basically. What else can we break down? Please. What are you breaking down? Yeah, exactly, Dragdon. Same issue with the extreme planets in Station Ears. I'm going to break down some thruster components and radio components. Ah. Ooh. Oh, that's quite slow. So yeah, just, just gold... Cobalt and platinum from the thruster components. That's okay, because that is enough for us to get fancy tools. I do like fancy tools. Energy low. Uh, but we probably don't want highest tier grinders, do we? Uh, I would like the highest tier. If we can afford that, types? at least. When you... I usually don't, but I can. You will with light. You will want two, probably. I mean, it's not my first rodeo. Oh no, we can't make these. We need crystal prisms. Oh. Crystal prisms. No. And we need silver for oh. those fancy ones, so we can only go up to the next tier. Stabilize chronics as well for the welder. Yep. And Lorium ingots for the neat hand And drill. chronics we can get from here, from this planet. Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. Well, that's lesson learned. Uh, I've made a next tier up welder at least. Well, chucked. <laughs> yep. Also, it's transferring cargo, by the way. Oh, nice. Oh, do we want something like Issy's on here eventually as well? Ah, oh, yeah, eventually. I will probably want a mining rig and various other things before then. Um, Kabak. Just one thing to point out about the plans that I had for this before you start placing down more walls. This end. <clears throat> at the south-ish end of things. Uh, that was intended to be a garage door that we can drive the truck into. Uh, south. Where I'm standing. Okay. Hmm. Suspended. Do I want to make a thing that can fly to go scouting, or do I want to take a rover scouting? Uh, depends on our power situation at the time. True. Probably a rover. I reckon. To a bike. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Honestly, that would be dope. Oh, I should probably focus on a drill rig first, shouldn't I? Unless you want to do the drill rig, Shadow. Uh, sure. Where do you want the hole to be? Because then we can excavate, like, a little hangar as well. So, I reckon somewhere off this side. Probably a moderate distance from the base that currently this exists. This side being... Where I am. Which direction? Yeah. Oh, there you are. Oh, so in this little corner between the wind turbines yeah, and the so, base. Yeah, because I, I think if we're going to excavate with drills, we want to be away from the ship, because we don't want to have a big chasm between us and the wreck that's the reason we built here. Um, and then if you move if you move this far out, then at least you're far enough away that you're not going to um, end up causing problems if we need to expand the base a little bit. Yeah, sounds like a plan. But it does delay us getting it a bit, because we've got to fine first alternatively we could go under the base <laughs> yeah that works too that way we could excavate like a giant storage area construction hangar mm. stuff. Uh, need more glass. whoa oh I will hydrate that's um <laughs> certainly something. Go back, did you use up all of the um all of the glass? Uh I used all the glass that I got out of these windows that I've been grinding. Hmm. I didn't get any extra to make them. Oh what If you need glass, doesn't... you can take it out of them. Oh, uh, I need I need silicon. So I just wanted to break down some glass. <laughs> Oh, it's a good thing I grabbed some silicon ore then, huh? Wait, do we even have that silicon ore still? <laughs> I don't think so, Shadow. I don't think so. Oh, I feel what you're proving. Oh, gone down in the sand. <laughs> down the turlet. Down the dunes. Uh, we are not using the rust mechanics mod, no. Oh no no. We arguably could on this though. But I just yeah. I think it's It does does it affect powered grids or is it just unpowered? I feel like I like some of the concepts. It's just space engineers doesn't let you have enough fine grained control over something like that in order to execute it well. Wait, why did I remove that card from inside? Because yeah, you need some fine. sort of system to be able to um, prevent the rust happening to your grids, otherwise it becomes busy work that just gets frustrating and makes you turn it off. Yeah, and the more you progress, the more you have to, well, pay up keeping away. Yeah. And that is something I really am not willing to do. Yeah. I've also found 536 silicon ingots. Oh, nice. Oh, that's enough for you to get some stuff done. No energy. Uh, not to let myself run out of power. Uh, uh, Seems to be a common thing for you. Yeah, it normally is. Oh. It's pretty. It's pretty rare that I'm so far from a source of power that it's a problem. So I just usually let myself go. Exactly, Damon works. The SE does have enough busy work. Um. So I think, and I think that's one of the issues with um, food and sleep and those sorts of mods, unfortunately, is that it becomes busy work rather than interesting. It doesn't become an engineering problem. Uh, right. So Shadow's going to need some sort of conveyor system. I mean, I can branch out of the cargo container. Go underneath there. Well, I was going to build you something on top. You're ah. accepting of that? Sure. I mean, I can always adapt if I, uh, if I had something else in mind. I figured you were probably going to be building a drill rig fairly high, so having 
an elevated platform was an elevated start point was useful. Probably. Deal with the fact that that's a hole in a wall later. Hmm. Huh? I don't like the sound of that. Also, oh, it's I'm just lost. to allow us some scaffolding oh. so that we can actually get out and build this thing. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. So with no jetpack, we have to think through these things, and I think. But I also like it. I mean, once we, um, once we have this miner built, then we should have a much better resource position. Yeah, but power is quickly going to become a problem as well as we keep our machines running. True. Uh, I'll order up another battery then. Not necessarily what I meant, but sure. Well, just to give us some more safety net. Because I feel like the mining power. thing is needed. But we still got more than 25% on the station battery. We have 847 kilowatt hours. Also, maybe a seat for recharging? Uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you for six months. Um, I can't remember whether I said that. I think my brain is going to mush. Um. Yeah, this works. Ores are in set locations in this, and we are not near any of the important ones. No, but that is going to be our challenge, I suppose. Yeah, true, true. Point could could add a solar panel to the towers. Okay. Oh, actually, no, we can't. Not easily, because the attachment points are lacking. Could add one to the little platform that I built at the top, but maybe I should try and come up with a low-slung solar tracker. Well, the sun's going to go pretty much east to west. Our base isn't too much askew from that. I could just have something that spins to follow that's just a single axis tracker. Yeah. Ooh, oh. I mean, it's not that hard to make a um, a relatively flat sort of thing as well. True. And I have an idea of how that I might platform. do it, so I will start doing it. Good. Usually when Spritzy has an idea, it's a good time to be scared. Ow. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> I hear clunk, clunk, ow. <laughs> oh, oh, how did you survive that? Yeah, a bit of spaceship just fell on me. How did you survive that when... Shadow and I died from, like, a single block falling on us. I appear to be more allergic to death than Capac. Yeah, I've Achieve. developed a resistance over time. This should be enough. That which kills Kamak only makes him stronger. Hmm. Yeah, I'm basically Doomsday from Superman. <sighs> That 
was weird. Oh, like someone pushed a bit me. Of but no one was around. There are ghosts. <laughs> Glad you're amusing yourself, Kavak. I am. Ooh. I've been working on getting that section detached for ages, and then you it just happen just... to stand right out in the middle of it. Uh, uh, does somebody have marshmallows? Because I appear to have started a bonfire. Uh, you've damaged a thruster, Ooh. I guess. Drill. It's very ominous. I want yeah. some marshmallows. There is quite the hey. ominous glow coming from everything now. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a volcano. I, I thought there was like a morning sun, and then I realized, like, wait, the sky <laughs> is still grey. There's sparks. Oh no. What have you done? I forgot the marshmallows, that's the thing I did. I probably should have counted that better. Alright, what do we need? So, solar panels are four. By two. I want to have I might be trying to summon Clang on accident Yeah but That's why there's such an ominous glow Perform the ritual Not sure exactly what I'm doing here but it might work. I can't seem to get my head around what I need to do to make this work. Oh well. Add more spikes. Well, I guess the good thing is that I don't need lights down here anymore. <laughs> I suppose not. I would like to find out what is on fire though. I, I'm... I'd be guessing a hydrogen thruster. One would imagine that... Hmm... Yep, there is definitely something there. Mm -hmm. So you, the all of the inventory is moved across to the base, yeah. Yep. All the important stuff. Cool. Did you get sidetracked from building building the drill rig? I was planning on leaving that to tomorrow. Uh, oh, tomorrow uh, next stream. Sorry. Oh, oh. That way I have a clear goal on what to work on. And also, um, it's almost 4 a.m. here. I see. That seems a good reason. Now to get out of this hole. So we jump here. And we sprint jump here and then I... Also, to all the Dutchies watching these streams, um, please do try to keep it English. I understand that it's fun to talk Dutch to another Dutch person, but I personally do really prefer English. I think it's just 
better because I am streaming with a non-English person as well. Hmm. Or right, a non-Dutch person, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go to bed. Yep, yep. Alright. Oh, boy. Um, I'll go and sit in the caravan. It's probably the safest place to be. Well, we could probably set up a bed and a pressurized room if you want to do that as the last thing for today. Nah. Nah? It'll be fine. I, I really should go. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> because I need to be up in less than eight hours. Oh, you need to be... Oh, right. Yeah, of course. The station is. Yep. You dumb dumb. It's fine. Well, I reckon we've done a pretty good job of getting progress considering the two large setbacks that we gave ourselves, Shadow. All it took was a giant of powder at Capac, watch out. It's fine. <laughs> I zoom out and the first thing I see is just something falling from the ship. Yeah, yeah. But I've got the basis of a solar tower set up. Oh, and I need to what? Inspect. Yes. We have a rotor, we have a hinge, we have four solar panels that should be able to track the sun without colliding with anything. Oh, oh, that's cute. And I thought, um, we could basically copy this and do multiples of oh. these. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? What was that? Lightning. Oh, right, there's lightning over there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Lightning. That's. I'm glad we've got the no lightning damage mod. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, we could, if we set up limits on the hinge, actually extend this vertically as well. So if the hinge isn't allowed to flip itself over, then this will only rotate. It'll only be able to use the rotor to spin itself around completely. Uh, yeah. So that's what I was thinking of doing, and then we can extend it upwards, and you can we can put you know, sixteen panels on it if we want. Um, but I thought that was a nice way of getting something built that's close to the ground, so we don't have to have full scaffolding and everything like that. Yeah, and that was kind of what I was thinking as well with like a solar field, hmm. of giant solar towers. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's where you were going with it. I thought this might um, uh -oh. be good stuff for it. Oh good, there's a stop, yeah. so we'll have some power boost for next week. Uh, Kabak, are you happy to jump across to some Icarus? Sure. And our giant castle and trying to get it finished before... Because I think this is the... This will probably be the l second to last week we're on that map. Oh, something like that. Oh, Kabak did build a bed. Alright, I'll hop into bed too. So yeah, hang around on mine and Kavak's streams. Jetto, looking forward to playing some more of this next week. Very yeah, much. Yeah, definitely. Because <laughs> it's been a lot of fun, even though things went horrifically long. R long? Wrong. Those things. <laughs> horrifically yes. long. That too. Yeah. Like we have been going for almost six hours, so. We have. Uh, we may well get carried away with these streams, I suspect. No. That will never happen. There might have been a reason for Shadow and I not to play Space Engineers together. <coughs> but yeah, there'll be more RVs at war next week. I am getting killed. I am getting back in the rover because that's the only pressurized space around here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Probably because of the storm. Uh, yeah, hang around. Uh, more streaming in just a moment. And have a good one, you